being cow. Live, I think. Quick, so. Everyone, stop being racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. only against white people, though, so that makes it okay. Uh, I think I've heard that somewhere. Like they they talked about that in my sociology class. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, we'll do a quick recap from last week. Um, initially, from what I remember, um, there wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, but up towards the end, you guys decided to head back to Mason Farms, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, I wonder if that was a good idea. For you. Um, Dizzy and Gippy went to the magistrate, and then uh, the other three went to the um, arena. And at the arena, you guys met the promoter, uh, who I will have been searching diligently on the internet for a picture, uh, but I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Um, he basically told you guys that he could bill you in a fight. Uh, didn't tell you what type of fight it was going to be or anything of that nature, but he'll set you guys up with something. Um, then you guys met up with Dizzy and Gippy on the way back, um, as he did. Um, decided to go back out to Mason Farms and found it completely destroyed. Um, overrun with plant life, uh, burning, destroyed, just totally in ruin. He found some tracks that led you back into the forest. Um, in the forest, you were able to find what appeared to be a dryad or a nymph or something that said that the autumn queen had destroyed it. And she said that she was going to kill the city and the forest and everything. Um, and as she did, you guys heard like a roaring off in the distance. So we'll cut back to that screen now. There we go. Few seconds. Oh, group video is unavailable at the moment. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Stupid video thing. All right. So, you guys are down here. Uh, yep. The dryad just left. The roaring that you heard. Is definitely up until like the north and probably a little bit off <coughs> to the west. So, north northwest, you would say, mm-hmm. from where you guys are at. Yeah. So. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking do this thing. Uh, <laughs> Grash is battle hard already. He's got a huge adrenaline cock going on. So. Yeah, my god piece is getting tight. What's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up? Well, let's see what we got. You guys want to go up, forward, back, straight? What do you want to do? Is did the dryad disappear? <laughs> yeah, she yeah jumped into like a tree basically. She basically <laughs> into a tree and she's gone. Do we see said creature? Um, from hear here, it. no, there's too much foliage and stuff, but you can hear it. It's very clearly coming your direction. Well, I mean, Gippy's got his little beacon on. He does. <laughs> so, a little way over here sign. So it's kind of like the beginning of Jurassic Park, you know, when you're hearing like the noises and stuff in there, and it's all crashing through the trees. But it really turns out to be the tractor, which is awesome. But anyways, um, it's some, it's akin to that, where you hear like the branches snapping and something moving through the trees itself. Um, but what it is exactly? And mm. but according to the dryad, what she had said was. Um, that it was the autumn night, whatever that means. Really, I thought it was like the Lord of Darkness or something like that. No, that's the one that she okay. said you got that you all let into the town. Oh, uh, okay. She's basically lumping, it sounds like, everybody that's not somebody that lives in the forest together. 
So oh, okay. You all, everybody, <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, who it is. So. <clears throat> all right. Well. Hmm. Uh, I think we're all. I mean, Kagrath at this point would like hold position at this point. Okay. And, uh, uh, I can I scout. Yeah, if anybody wants to scout ahead, you're more than welcome to. You can do whatever you'd like to do. I mean, I don't think there's scouting. I think there's giant so yelling hard. noise coming right at us, and we need to prepare ourselves for battle in positions we're comfortable fighting shit in. Uh, I'm going to turn to Gippy and be like, Gippy, you're by me. Nick? Yeah, he moved. Nick? You mic was <laughs> Nick? Your mic muted, dude? Did we lose him? Nah, he's, he's here. He's, he's, he's in the gone. Skype. Nah, my mic is... Oh. Well done. No. There he is. What's up, buddy? Mm. Are you tired? Mm. So now on the very edges of Gippy's beacon, you can guys can see like a large mass moving through the trees. Mm -hmm. um, but it's indistinguishable, but you can tell that it's moving. Um, and it's kind of oh, shit. parallel to you. So you can kind of see it. But it's kind of hard to make out as well. Aw, uh, yeah. What the fuck is that? <clears throat> I don't know, but I've got a feeling it's coming towards us. Uh, yep. yeah. How? So you guys holding up position right there? Uh, uh, metal wise, I think we should move like this, kind of like more like central this way, like. On no, the I, I agree. I'd rather take them on in an open spot than have to deal yeah. with. Trees and things in the way. Yeah. All right. So as you guys are, you guys can move into position all you want. Yeah. But, uh, kind of moving and pushing through the trees and stuff. Um, you guys notice what appears to be some sort of large, multi-headed type of a creature. Um, it's not really something that you've ever really seen before. Uh, you've heard of hydras and things of that nature. Obviously, those are kind of like common large creature but mm -hmm. um, this is this appears to be something that's almost plant like um, let me show you a picture oh geez oh so, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's something it's some sort of <laughs> large plant magic creature. the gathering creature shut up <laughs> 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 That's what comes up when you search Plant Hydra in Google search. So shut up. Anyways, um, yeah, like it. So much so is it uh, of the plant type nature that its um, its coloration is like that of a forest around it. It's more autumn and, and leaves dying, and browns and oranges and such, and like the auburns. Then it would be like a dark bright green, like on the picture. So that's the difference. But uh, I wonder if that's the autumn night. <laughs> <laughs> um, can night strip off like five layers of clothing and mutter obscenities? Is it? I don't know. I guess in action. Uh, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, best free action ever. I'm not fighting in '97 coats. Do you want to live or do you want to stand there and get hydra at? <laughs> um, the thing moves here, and it kind of stops uh, right in front of all of you. And uh, another like guttural growl comes out of all of their heads. Almost at once. Okay. I got this. Don't you guys worry. I'm gonna step up right in front of it. <laughs> Goodbye, Gippy. <Tiny> <laughs> Later, and I'm gonna cast. Uh. Let's see. I swear to God, you if you cast think? plant growth on this thing. <laughs> you guys think plant speak with, growth. <laughs> speak with animals or speak with plants? Let's pick one. Hello? 
Speak with animals right. or speak with plants. Are you talking to me? Anyone. Yes. Yeah. It wouldn't be me that um, would tell you. I mean, I would do speak Rats with animals oops. personally. Really? Because I would have gone with speak with plants, but I don't fucking know. Me too. Hey, Skippy. Cast make a, both of them. Make a, you, should, you should do like... They both are concentration. Here, Gippy, I'll save you the spell slot. Even though I probably shouldn't because it's hilarious. We just, just waste them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a roll to determine if either one of those spells would work? You can go ahead and make the roll. I won't, I won't stop you from making the roll, sir. So well, I'm gonna roll. All right. Ooh, yeah. That is, that is a really good roll. Um, judging on the nature of this thing, um, probably either one would have worked um, because even though it seems to be like a plant, um, a moving plant as such is almost like an animal. So either one probably would have worked. Um, but as you're making this distinction, um, the thing stops, and five of the heads kind of turn and look at all of you. Um, wherever you're sitting, you're standing at, um, and it looks around, and it, you hear this kind of booming voice, not in speech, but in, like, your heads, and it says, uh, flippant creatures, dryads, and it looks at all of you, and it says, but what she says is true. You have two options. You can fight, and you can die. Or can I pick the third option where I still didn't do nothing wrong, or is that just completely off the table now? Um, the head is you can't at you kind speak of, with it. Yeah, it's head, it head, the teeth kind of pull back on it um, as you're talking, and it's talking, um, and it says, "Or since my queen is merciful, she will allow you to leave the city before the forest reclaims it." Wait, can we understand it? Yeah, that's what you're yeah. doing. What? Huh. You're all hearing it. Yeah, the pod form response, I got it. Mm. And it says... Yep. And it looks and it says, You must choose, and choose now. Um, okay, so the options are leave... Or leave, go, um, die, or leave the town, right? Um, <laughs> no. Options are you can fight and you can die, he says. Okay. So now and here. Mm -hmm. um, or you can leave the city and before the forest reclaims it. So he's basically telling you you can either evacuate the city now and go and tell them to evacuate the city. Uh because Queen will allow it. Mm -hmm. Or you can fight <clears throat> him and presumably everybody else. Um, and he's fairly certain that he'll win and everybody else will win. Yep. Kyrat looks at the party and she's like, I think we should, it's like, probably uh, let's see, how do I word this? Like, high graph. Shit. Probably starting with <laughs> this one. Yeah. Slowly but surely back up behind Grash's legs. Oh. Are you actually touching Grash? No, nah, just behind his leg. Okay. <laughs> I know, Lord forbid I touch Grash. No, I was just gonna be like, Grash, he's touching you. <laughs> I would have allowed it in this circumstance. <laughs> oh, okay. Kagrath is like, this one probably this is like this one's always wanted to move to Wiltorn. Um and as you say the name Wiltorn, mm -hmm. the thing looks and it says That place has been contaminated as well. Huh. Just out of curiosity, if I'll be made so bold, what exactly is this contamination that y'all and all forest ladies are speaking of? Um, and, uh, <coughs> the thing kind of draws back a little bit and it says, The city has been tainted by the Prince of Lies, and the Lord of Illusions. He has yeah, I heard that the city part, but and I don't know who that is. Is there a name? Is there some sort of identifying factor? It says, speak his name at your own peril. But, 
he looks and he says, If the darkness had been purged from the city, this would not be necessary. And just out of curiosity, I don't suppose there's some sort of way to purge the darkness, you know, without killing everyone? He looks at you all and he says, I don't know if there are any that are up to the task. Ah, we could do it. Grish is a stri stri uh, uh, strapping young fellow, right, Grish? A pat him on his leg. Hey. He's gonna snarl. Okay. Um, <laughs> he pulls his teeth back a little bit and looks. Give me a moment to confer. His head's kind of droop a little bit. And he just kind of like is standing there and kind of waving back and forth. And it, the heads pop up again real quick and he says, My lady will allow you one week, for she is kind and merciful to you disgusting mortal creatures. You are one week to purge all the darkness from the city. But that if y'all don't happen. tell us what the darkness is, it don't particularly matter how much time you give. I have a quick question, actually. I'm rather curious. <laughs> when, you need to, when you need to throw up, which head does it come out of? Tizzy like, comes now up behind. seemed like the appropriate yeah. time for that question. I'm just, Dizzy I'm just comes wondering. up behind Gibeon and thwaps him on the head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the thing just kind of shakes its head and it looks around and it says, The darkness. The best I can explain it to you, the first thing you need to seek out is the dark burning heart. Once you find it, you can destroy it if you purge the rest of the evil. If you do that, you'll be safe from me and my lady. <clears throat> my lady and I. Dark burning heart. Oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, first, make an intelligence roll, Gibby, to see if you know that shit. Uh, How good the grammars is. <laughs> By the way, straight intelligence checks and saves and everything, I sorted all that shit out, so it works now. True. Wait, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, there was something wrong with the character sheet. It had, like, um, hard-coded or what it should be. Hey. Uh, <coughs> all right. <laughs> I do know this is that. No, it's DC-20. Anyways, uh, because <laughs> he grew up in a fucking forest. So, uh, he looks at all of you and he says, which offer do you accept? We can purge the darkness in a week. Easy. I'm not so sure about that one, because y'all haven't really still given us any specific details. See, y'all seem to know what you need to fight, or you're just... Hmm. Those y'all could be just arbitrarily exterminating everything you could get your little horse to hands on. Hmm. And he's just gonna mutter off to himself for a couple of seconds and not say anything else. Hagrid's like, this one believes we can beat up all beat up all the darkness. We just need we just need to put candles everywhere. The thing looks at you all and it says, Once you find the dark heart, it will become apparent what needs to be done. I'm sure you've already seen the beginnings of what has happened. As subtle as he can be, the Prince of Lies has not been deceiving and obfuscating his <laughs> malevolence. Damn, then some SAT words, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's even harder when you've had like a bunch of sake and some beers. God. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we got so far. So you guys okay. choose I mean, I already said my I've already said my opinion, I think. 
Yeah, I said my opinion. Yeah. We've got a week. What Kagra's opinions? Got a week. Rash hasn't said anything. Gippy's kind of made fun of Dragon Boy's uh, the Dragon Hydra's grammar. And I didn't make fun of it. I was correcting it. Well, Han gave his opinions, though. So. Well, Han asked a question. <laughs> I gave my I gave my vote in. <laughs> All right, All right, then Grash is going to step up, like, away from Gippy a little bit, and be like, Well, you're not giving us much of a choice, but I suppose we'll take the weak. And as you snarl, as you say that, he snarls at you a little bit, um, and says, <clears throat> You're lucky you've been giving it any choice. Uh, but... <laughs> Accepted my lady's offer. I could not act. And it, and it clearly wanted to kill you all. Mm. At this point. Mm. But, uh. <clears throat> Grash is gonna, like, slightly bow to him and be like, I appreciate your wisdom in that decision. Being like, I would have fucking killed you, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna turn and start walking back. Right, Just like yeah. without looking at anyone, I'm like, all right, well, we're done. Yeah, think <laughs> I want the last word. Awkwardly backs up this way and starts to turn away, and get back in the forest as well. So, yeah, seems like uh, you have a task in front of you. And I remember the first yep. thing he said that you need to do is seek out the dark heart, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super fucking helpful. <laughs> yeah, right? That's why I was trying to get details. But no, you get nothing. Too bad. <laughs> You'll yep. figure it out. And to be honest with you, you've already been on the path for like 12 weeks. So. <laughs> well, we've been distracted by side quests. All yep. side quests are main quests. <laughs> <laughs> Even the even with, even you guys even us sticking around the arena that will be a main quest. That's no, really that's into just, the that's main. That's for fun. That's gonna be oh. fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys know. I do realize that there's a gladiator setup in like the Neon's manual, but if you guys think I'm not lame, you got another thing coming. So, all right, Gippy, <laughs> it's your time to shine. What? <laughs> he keeps <Gun> on walking. <laughs> 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 oh, in the literal sense. I'm, I'm holding a stick with a giant mm. light on it. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Come closer so we can see. Yeah, it's literally your can time to Can we just assume shine? that we leave this area and head back to town? Or... Yeah, uh, so going down the trail, this road actually eventually kind of turns into like a dirt path. Like... Maybe they were thinking of improving the city and moving further out into the woods itself. Um, but you guys do find road eventually. Um, and I'll just switch you back over to the main map, because that'll probably work best. Uh, and as you know, over here is kind of like the Mason Farm setup. Um, and as you guys are walking back towards the city itself, um, Kind of off in the distance, you do hear this as well. Um, oh dear lord! It seems far off in the distance. It's far, so it's extremely loud. But you can tell that it's of a distance as well. So whatever's making this noise is probably massive. Um, but, uh, awesome. Yeah, to seek it out now, probably not the best place to action. But, totally up to you guys. Can I roll a wisdom check to determine if it's a good idea to fight a werewolf? Go for it. <laughs> yes. Do we need a sleep zone? Yes, we do. It is a terrible idea to fight a werewolf at night. It's easier to fight a werewolf during the day. <laughs> okay. Um, but, um, yeah. 
we're gonna say that you guys just proceed back to the main gate. Uh, is there anything else that you guys want to do on the way there? Uh, I mean, uh, we're not gonna be let into the city in the morning, so we should probably camp out somewhere here. You know? I I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, I just Hello, figured, man. like, finding some place with, like, a little bit of tree shelter is better than, like, sleeping outside the main gate on the main road. Well, no, I'm saying why That's... wouldn't they let you in? Hello? I thought there we was... We said we'd be back in two or five days or something like that. Not that we'd be back in a couple of hours. <laughs> right, we said we'd be back in the morning. Yeah, but... Well, it takes and... us, like, five hours to get back. Or something like that. Yeah, it does take a little bit to get back. Um, get... I swore... He's not... It... You guys leaving and him basically harassing you as you were leaving wasn't anything where it was, you know, if you don't come back within this allotted time frame, that you won't be let into the city. It's just more or less. Yeah, it's like, just kind of like a rough estimate. It was like I thought estimate. that was a problem we ran into before that we couldn't enter or exit this, or we couldn't enter the city at night. No. Oh. Uh, I and so. I, I totally thought that was part of the. No, that's nothing I set up. Oh, man. There was like a long line before, but that wasn't anything yeah, related. Yeah, there was a line to get in for sure. But, uh, nah, it was like six weeks ago, back when we had the other characters. But whatever, man. I gotta stop doing. I think it was more like it was more like no one's seen you guys before, and it was nighttime coming in, so they were a little yeah. suspicious. And beyond that, it was you guys didn't have any writs of good standing or anything, so you know. You, True. You guys are a little no bit more established in the city now than you were then, so getting in would be a little bit easier. Yeah, no, I'm I'm assuming that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice, nice all assumption. Probably right. Yeah. yeah. But walking Definitely. back does take a couple of hours. Um, mm -hmm. Finding the path and everything does speed up your travel a little bit quicker than it did before. Um, so as you guys come back, um, it is pretty late at night. It's about two, three a.m. Mm -hmm. um, but as you guys approach the gate, the guards are standing there. They're just kind of standing watching. Um, there's nobody else waiting to get in or anything. Um, they look kind of bored, to be totally honest with you. Um, and as you guys walk up, you just kind of show them your writs of good standing, and they kind of wave you through the gate. Um, not really. They seem they seem passive for some reason. <coughs> like, they should be on guard, but they're just, like, passive, waving you guys through. Um... And as you come through, you're in the, what one is that? The West Gate District, which makes sense because there's the West Gate. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> yeah, as you guys come in, um, if you want, there's a place called the Sweet Sleeping Wolf Inn that's close by, or there's also the Gilded Moon Tavern. The tavern's a tavern. The inn is an inn. So, there's the wow. Yeah. Wow. So, that's know, amazing. A tavern, you might think. Oh, I can go and sleep there. And they'd be like, get the fuck out. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a forethought. <laughs> um, but yeah, totally up to you guys what you want to do for right now. Which, what was the inn's name again? Who? The inn's name. Um, well, near you, it's going to be B on the map. Sleeping okay, sleeping. Alright. And then the tavern is going to be A, Gilded Moon Inn. Okay. So... Kagrat's going to sleep in the Sleeping Wolf Inn. Okay. Now, you, yeah. your arena's kind of close, too. Uh, oh, yeah, I can prob probably... Another 30 Kagrat can, yeah, Kagrat can there. probably stay at the arena, actually. Okay. Um, to get to the Leafy Crown where you guys have been staying... Um, <clears throat> is it the Leafy Crown? Mm -mm. No, Lantern House. Sorry. Yeah. So, Lantern mm, House... Yeah. Yeah, Lantern House. To get back to there, um, probably take you guys about another hour of walking, give or take, going through the city and everything. But if you guys want to stay there because you know where it is, that's fine too. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you no. Another in or out of character, particularly set on any particular place. I'm just gonna follow you guys. Yeah, I'm cool with just going to the closest one. The only reason we've yeah. been we went there initially was because of the sex. Because and of the I, sex. Yeah. I don't give enough of a fuck to walk that far. Yeah. Alright. My favorite point is you aren't wrong. Yeah. 
Kagrat's saying, Kagrat says to you all, so like, I'm gonna stay, this one's gonna stay in the arena. We'll meet at the, we'll meet at the, whatchamacallit, the magistrate's office tomorrow morning. Guys? When tomorrow morning? Why don't you come to the inn tomorrow morning, and we'll all lead together from there. Seems easier than coordinating a time to meet. Okay. We will just stay and wait until you show up. Okay. Fair. That sounds good. Sorry, I'm kind of like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really like. I'm not really like super like normal Cadgrath. This has been a little, like a rough week at work. So oh, I'm all like, good. Happens to all of us. Dude, really. That's usually how the week you come back from a week of vacation is. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, I came back from a, yeah, after a week of vacation, and then come back, and I'm like, shit, all this work has piled up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all good. No worries. So, to the inn. All right. To the inn. So, you guys. It's black. What's wrong with that? I got yeah. Why you gotta bring race into this? <laughs> I can't see because all the blackity black blackness. All right. I said that ain't right. Mm, no. Nope. It ain't white either. It just. Not that one. Just wait until someone smiles and then you'll see them. Yeah, I, I'm trying not to say it, but it is night. That's bad. <laughs> Wait till they smile. That's bad. <laughs> Don't shoot the whites of their teeth. That's bad. Oh, <laughs> damn, that's <it>. worse. <laughs> All right, and Gippy. There we go. Yeah. Oh my lord. Yes. So you guys walk in. Uh, there's one. There's some tables and stuff set up. Uh, there is like a eating and dining area out here. Uh, you walk in and there's very few people kind of sitting around, molding, uh, mulling around. Probably about one or two, to be totally honest. It's really pretty dead. Uh, behind the bar there's what appears to be... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, <laughs> there's another halfling behind the bar. He, and he's got his hand propped up on his... Oh, I'm sorry, he's got his head propped up on his arm. Uh, <clears throat> and he's just kind of sitting there and he's like... And he's got he's got the drops so bad. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and you guys walk in and he kind of pops his eyes open. He sees you and he goes, oh, 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 oh sorry. Uh, were you looking to save the night? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure how many worms we'll need, but at least two. Uh, and he goes, well, we only we only have single rooms here. Um, Make that four of them. Yes. Yes. Um, and he says, <laughs> he kind of laughs a little bit, and he says, you've been staying at the Lantern House, haven't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. He says, they try and make people stay upstairs for more money. I noticed. Yes. Uh, but not here. Not at the Sleeping Wolf. Uh, and he says... For the night, uh, it'll be about uh, 50 silver. Per person? Per person, yes. Holy How shit. much was it at the other place? I genuinely forget. It's a lot of gold. Oh. Oh, so the prices are exactly the same, except you get your own room here. Okay, I'm on board. Yeah. Well, it's, it's 50 silvers for a doubles room. And then they, what they're trying to do, it seems like, is send you upstairs. So they just spend more money upstairs. So, um, in the brothel. Ha ha ha! Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he says four rooms. He says, oh, we can accommodate that. Um, and he says, that'll be two gold total, I suppose. I'm going to dip out one, because I'm going to assume Gippy doesn't want a room, and I'm paying for him to have one anyway. Okay. <clears throat> I already put my silver up. Does Gippy want a room? Nah, I was going to go sleep outside. 
Well... Nope, you have a room now. Too bad, I'm paying for you. Well, you didn't fucking tell me that now, did you? I just did. <laughs> and if you're already gone... In character! Gone the in fight, character! I'll be outside if anyone needs me. It's okay, I'll come find you once I'm done paying for rooms. Right. <coughs> Actually, On these days, I'm gonna expect Gippy to get like arrested for vagrancy or something like that. <laughs> He's definitely working on the hobo heart of murder Pope. So. Thanks, words. He's definitely working on the hobo part of murder hobo. Yeah, he's working that hobo part pretty hard. Uh, yeah, I wanna do- I'm gonna go get another beer. Uh, the rooms for you guys are gonna be down this way. He says, go down the hall. Take a left, take a right, and then uh, your four rooms will actually be the doors in the back back there. None of these ones up in the front. Those are for someone else. So, he just should be kind of back down in this area here. He says, take whichever ones you want. Uh, and I'm going to get a beer real quick, and I'll be right back. Is Gippy already gone gone, or is he still in the area? Uh, I'm out. I'm only outside of the building. Oh, you're on that side. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna come strolling see... up to you and say, "Nah, y'all aren't sleeping outside tonight. Here, I'm gonna hand you the room key." Why? Because I already paid for y'all, and if you keep sleep sleeping in the street, they're gonna start thinking you're homeless and start arresting you. Well, I'm not homeless. The forest is yeah, my Yeah, but home. they won't care. That ain't how cities oh. work, as far as I understand. Oh. Okay. I'll hesitantly take the key. Thank you. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. I'll show you which ones are ours. Come on. Okay, strange man made out of coats. <laughs> Brandon, this strange man made out of coats is also the nicest guy who's been to you. <laughs> Indeed. It's true. No one spent a gold on me this entire game. Technically, I spent 50 silver on you. <laughs> isn't 10, isn't, wait, 50 silver, isn't like 10 silver a piece of gold? Um, 10 silver is yes. gold. No, I'm sorry, 5 silver. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, 50 oh, silver yeah, is a I, lot. I, I, uh, I thought we were paying that much more. That's steep as fuck. I know, 5 gold for a room. Yeah, no, not that much. <laughs> My mistake. Sorry, guys. No problem. I'm not staying in there, so I'm I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Let yeah, me cool. in room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that dizzy, stupid room. <laughs> oh, you're fucking yeah, like. You can join me. Brian. Fix the rooms. Oh. You uh, Brian, you locked all Brian. the doors on us. Hey, you Brian. Know? Ryan, yeah, the doors. If, if you meant these rooms in the- oh, hey, look at that. I teleported inside. Yay. <laughs> oh, I okay, did too. I, Perfect. I have something I would like to do before I go, but... Um, hey, Crash, yeah, can you get some of your- this radiant aura out of my room? <laughs> no. That's where he right. put the bed. Yeah. Fuck oh, off. You feel majestic all night. <laughs> um, everybody roll a d100 for me real quick. What's the uh, there's no way this is good. Thirty-five! Fifty-three! Hey! Thirty-five! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wait, Zach, did you just crit <laughs> fail of D100? <laughs> you had a hundred that is statistically unlikely. Yeah. Um, Damn, Zach, really? Yeah, sorry, Sam, you didn't have to roll, but thank you. Okay. Oh. Thank you. you did say everyone. I did say everyone. I did. I'm glad you did. Because the last time I said everyone, you guys didn't. And then I was like, oh, okay. Well, I asked, I asked, I, d I asked, or I just like asked like two seconds ago, and then you didn't say anything, so I'm like, okay. I didn't hear you, sorry. Anyways. Okay. So, yeah. Do um, this thing. <laughs> crash. Are you fucking kidding me, Zach? <laughs> 100 jail. I love it, dude. I love it. All First right. roll of the night, baby. Let's get it on. So, um. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna. All you guys have a sound sleep. Besides Grash, um, Grash, you keep getting like this itching sensation and like all this stuff and moving and you like, you just can't get a sound sleep. You get the long rest bonuses, but you also 
get a point of exhaustion because it's kind of like between the tossing and turning and everything, you're like, God damn it, you know, you just can't you get like all your spell slots and stuff back, but and all of your abilities and whatnot. But jokes on you, he didn't spend anything yet. Yeah, uh, you literally just <laughs> gave me a point of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it's it's like it's to represent like a, a not quite restful sleep. Does that make any sense? Uh, by it's the way, not it's completely close. unreasonable. But yeah. if I may be so bold, I'd suggest some bonuses for sleeping in nicer rooms. Like if we sleep in the palace, we get a plus ten to it or something. But if you guys eat food and have like a good meal and everything, you'll get inspiration. So it usually you would. Um, but you guys just went straight to bed, so that just gives you, like, long rest. But wait, before I went to bed, I wanted to do something. Can I do that quickly? No, you already are into be to bed. Fuck! I'll talk to you wait, wait, you said the good wait night song, I have a question. Okay? Do we... <laughs> Go the fuck uh, to sleep. You know what? Our, our gladiator fights aren't today. They're tomorrow, right? Uh, he said within the next day or two. So it could be today or it could be tomorrow. Fuck um, me, man. Yeah, you might, he might find you on the street and find out and tell you what's going on, but... Well, it's only it's only skill checks, so you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, unless we're doing sumo fighting, because that would be something that Brian would do to me. No. <laughs> well, now he is. You should see the character I made you to fight. Oh my god! So <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's almost as bad as Cagrats. Um. So, Gibby, what did you want to do before you went to bed? I want to use locate object on the doctor's journal again. Ooh. Go for it. Okay, well, let's. I don't. I don't have it typed into Dick Twenty, so let's. <laughs> Dick <coughs> Dong Twenty. Let's look here. Looky here. Uh, locate object. Okay. Do it. By the way, guys, just 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 for a funny comment. Um, the Vietnamese currency is called dong, so like you yep. can give people like fifty dongs. Fifty dong. How much dong did you spend on that? Not nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn it. Five dong. Right, so I learned. Suck, suck I, your dong. Since I'm thinking specifically of the doctor's journal, right. I learned the direction that it's in. Okay. So again, you sit down to cast your spell again. Um, Kind of rub your hands together and you think, think real hard, um, and it expands like a radius, like we said before. Ten feet, hundred feet, thousand feet, and as it gets further and further out, you uh, expands the entirety of like your spell's radius, which I think is like six miles or something like that, right? Now this one, if since I know the specific object, it's infinite. It's an infinite one. Okay. Yeah. We had this argument last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it keeps growing exponentially each time, each basically tick of it. Um, and almost directly to the north, you start to get like a hit, like a ping. Um, but as soon as you do, again, your spell is shut down. And it starts collapsing on itself. Um, and it seems to be very far north now. Um, before it was just kind of right outside the city. Now it appears to be at least maybe 100, 200 miles to the north. Oh, really what? Shit. How did they go 100 miles in a day? How did they? Who bought a dragon? So. What the fuck? I'm not gonna get my journal back. But Wait, we're gonna get it back. Your journal? Not immediately. But like. Bruh, I've been everybody. studying that like my fucking history textbook. It's my fucking journal. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. And what did you learn from it so far? I'm just curious. Just as a recap. Uh, what is it good for? Yeah. Absolutely well, not. there Damn were it. things about the stuff written in words. Hmm. Nothing. Got it. Alright. But yeah, you got the journal, wherever it is, is about 100, 200 miles north of your position right now. Okay. So. And do I get a flash of the Red Hood gang lady before I fade out? No. Nothing this time. Um, but it, but the way that the spell is shut down and stuff like that, it feels similar to that. So. 
Okay. Well, fuck me. Yeah, you don't... Whether it's the same person or not, it's hard to tell, but it seems like they use the same kind of magic to shut the spell down before. Before you actually okay. got any, like, good work. Information. So. Uh, anything else anybody wants to do before the long night? Or long after night. they wake up, yeah. dizzy. Um. <laughs> um, after I wake up, actually, on my, on my end, Kagrath will ask the book, uh, the booker whether or not they're book, everyone's booked today or tomorrow. Uh, Thank you. As you get there, the promoter's office is kind of like closed up. Um, and you knock on the door. You wait for a sec. Nobody comes to the door. Uh, but uh, you might be there in the morning. So, but right beforehand, no, nothing. Okay. I thought it was the morning. I thought it was when oh, I woke up. Oh no, I was asking if anybody wanted to do anything before they went to bed. No, I said like when I wake no, up. No, then you said or in the morning when they wake up, and then specified busy, yeah. but then didn't specifically say nope. anyone else couldn't. He I'm said, "Give me an asshole he, tonight, okay?" He, he said, "I'm Brian Knight tonight." Welcome to words, <laughs> bra. Bra. He, he said that is anybody anybody wanted to do anything before they go to bed, and then he said, or after they wake up, and that's when he indicated me because. I only have two minutes less than us. Four, four hours. hours. I got you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, but he okay. didn't say no one else could. That's true. Okay. So we'll do the promoter thing in a second. Mm. Uh, dizzy. Well, uh, is it? Oh, so is it morning now? Yeah, it's morning now. So we'll do. Okay. We're gonna do Kagrath's thing in just a second because timeline-wise, you would wake up before Kagrath does, and you'd have like true. three hours before him. Well. It's six o'clock in the morning. Because it was two, right? Or how? What time is it? Uh, it is. It's two when we got back to the city. You said. Yeah, so it's going to be give or take about seven a.m. Six thirty, seven a.m. Okay. Um. Well, first thing I will do is, and you can actually probably after I get set. You could probably pan to Kagrath, but let me get out here real quick. I'll go ahead and mosey my, my way down the hallway. Okay. Um, and as you well, my way there downtown. is a um, female human behind the bar. Uh, mm -hmm. Working a gentleman at the bar, basically. Uh, there's mm -hmm. another, what appears to be... There's a female tiefling and a male half orc. They're kind of sitting next to each other, and all three of them are kind of talking together and laughing about something. Um, and then you walk out and she looks over at you, um, mm -hmm. and you notice that she's actually really cute. The girl behind the bar. Um, she's got about a floor-length ponytail, kind of done down her back. Um, Dang. Yeah, like really long hair. Um, Blonde with like kind of tan eyes, um, and she gives you like a look, and she's got like these dimples on her face. She says, "Oh, well, good morning. What can I do for you?" Where are they on the bar? Uh, down like, here. Like at the end down. here? Yeah, like okay. where the plates and stuff are at. Let's All assume right. that that's where like the, the half work is at, and then the tiefling's like right next to her, and she's down here talking to him. And then you sit over there. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. So she walks up and she says. Um, Will you be eating this morning? Absolutely. She says, fantastic. And she says, let me see what we've got today. And uh, she kind of looks around a little bit and uh, pulls out a chalkboard that she has. She says, I was just about to do this for the day. Um, <laughs> she says, well... We I'm a have... bit of an early riser today, so... Mm -hmm. She says, well, we're going to be doing roasted pork and pecan bread. That's pretty good. Um, salted deer and some soft cheese. Roasted shellfish with some dried leaf. Um, or I guess is like a kind of a vegetarian thing, if that's your thing. 
uh, I guess we could do a, kind of like a stew, like a vegetable stew. Um, well, you said the pork's good, so I trust your judgment. It says in the morning, I would think that pecan bread is pretty good. It's pretty damn tasty. Okay. That's fine by me. Okay. And she kind of is writing down all the stuff on the board and everything, and she says, that comes with ale, but if you want something different, I can get it for you. Um, well, you know, the ale's fine. I typically drink wine, but ale's fine. She says, just, oh, I don't have any wine here, I'm afraid. Just, That's uh, okay. Ale, beer, and me. Well, ale will be fine. Oh, and then she she finishes writing up her chalkboard, and she puts it on the back, and she kind of tit 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 around this corner yeah. here, and goes in the back, and she yells in the back, and she says, Pork and pecan! And then you hear this guy in the back, <laughs> and then he kind of comes back. Um, and she says, so where are you traveling from? <sighs> you know, not to avoid the question, but if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> she says, she laughs and she says, you know, I hear that more than you'd think. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. She says, okay, well, it'll be a few minutes for your, your food. And then she goes over here and she starts to talk to the half orc in the teeth lane again. All right. So you can go ahead and go off to Sam, um, but in about an hour or so, he is going to leave. Okay. So that will I will have until like eleven o'clock before everybody wakes up. So eight eight thirty is is Dizzy is going to leave. Okay. So Kagra, you want to go talk to the promoter, right? Like yeah. <coughs> All yep. right. Um, <laughs> I got to get the voice right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you knock on the door, and you hear from behind the door, you hear, Son of a bitch! And then, like, so you hear, and, like, the door opens, and he's like, What do you want? How are you booked today? Jesus. <sighs> Let me look. And he goes in the back, and he, he's like, You know, Kagrath, you're becoming <coughs> a pain in my ass. And he's looking at the and stuff down. All right, all right. I got your friends booked. But I'm still looking for something for you, all right? You destroyed those last few guys I put you up against, so I gotta find you something special. Kagrath kind of gives like a pout, like a pout, like yeah. really, <laughs> like she's just like her 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 morning's been ruined now. She's like, oh. <laughs> he goes, um, <laughs> well, don't fret. Tomorrow should be the day. So come back tomorrow. <coughs> We'll have you guys set up for something. I'll find you something, one way or the other. And he's right, writing okay. some notes down and stuff. Okay. Um, and then he says, "Now be aware, we're doing. We're going to be doing." Uh, and he looks and he says, "Yeah, your weird friend with the goggles and the, the glasses and the mall and the coats and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to be doing a bare knuckle boxing match." Oh. Um, all right. <laughs> Oh, that sounds uh, fun. And then he flips the page and he says, And your scaly dragonborn friend, we're going to be doing a, uh, it's kind of like a knockdown drag out kind of affair, okay? Hmm. And he flips it over and he says, And you, he says, we'll just try and keep a theme. We're not going to be doing any weapons, so we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll say that yours will probably be the same as the other, because you don't really fight fair, do you? Fair? This only hit things hard. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, go ahead and go out. You can let them know if you want. And then, okay. uh, tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. If you wake me up again before I've had some hair of the dog, I'll fucking kill you myself, okay? It's almost noon. And he says, Do I make myself understood? And he kind of, like, clenches his fist <laughs> a little bit. This fat. <laughs> and he's, he's... He's a pretty gross individual. He's all fat yeah. and like long and small and like, you know. Well, like Kagra, I I imagine Kagrath being raised in this place, so she like is used to. So this is like nothing new to her. Well, she's promoters like, come and go. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, promoters come and go. So she's like, yeah, this okay. He's not he's not new by any means. He's probably been here about a year or two, which is actually pretty seasoned for this place because. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they come in and out. But, um, <coughs> and then it says, just go and tell your friends, and, uh, yeah, do what okay, you want in the it's... meantime. But if you miss your billing, ugh, I'll put a bounty on you. You understand? Ha! Huh. Just Kybra, kind of just kind of like <laughs> smiles. Fucking got like, him. Yeah. <laughs> like really, like it's kind of like it's like that was a good joke. <laughs> Maybe her billing could yeah. be the bounty hunters that come after her, and she could just smack them all together at once. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Laugh now while you got your lungs. Now get out of here. Right. Oh yeah. What time oh, is there? What time? What time is there, match? What time is it? What time is their match? The match tomorrow? No, what for says? them, my friends. Oh, and he says, well, we got, like, a headline fight in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And he, he looks at his thing, and he says, well, he does some sketching, and he's like, well, eh, all right, well. Okay, so we'll do this, all right? The weird guy, because I think he's going to break, like, a cheap violin. I think uh, we'll do him in the morning. Or not the morning. The uh, He's going to headline. Or not headline. So word I'm looking for. Son of a headline, bitch. The first open up. Why did you wake me up before I had my open. drink? Open. God damn it. <laughs> opening. She's like opening yeah. match. Yes. Yes. He's gonna open. He's going to not not the first opening match, but the second opening match. Let everybody whistles basically. So okay. For the for the boxing, and then <laughs> that grass guy looks like he can hold up. So we'll put him down right before you, and then we'll have you headline. How's that sound? Oh, I'm headlining. Yes. Hmm. I approve of this. Yes. So this one approves. Do the headliner, because I'm going to find something special for you. I don't know what yet. But we'll line it up. And okay. <clears throat> once he does that, um, he's like, so show up tomorrow evening. Hmm? Let's say about five. Four if okay. you want to get in a little workout beforehand or something. Okay. And, uh, All right, and that's it. So, okay, out, out, out of, out of meta because like today's been a really long ass day, so my mind's been kind of frazzled. Grash and Flahan are having their matches today. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're still gonna. Okay. Everybody's matches are still tomorrow, so they're gonna. Okay. Everybody's <laughs> matches are tomorrow. All right. Yeah. So he okay. says, show up at five. But uh, if you show up at four, you can get like Please. training and pouring it. Okay. But if you don't, All right. the fight is probably going to be at like five thirty-six. Okay. So he wants every he wants all of his fighters in the same spot. Okay. Uh, Kagrath will go to the Sleeping Wolf Inn, I guess. All right. Dizzy, what did you want to do out on the town? Okay, so Dizzy leaves. And so I'm here. Mm -hmm. Dizzy will be going back here to the Leafy Crown. All right. Um, so you walk into the Leafy <coughs> Crown. Mm -hmm. um, look around. The same elf is behind the behind the counter. Um, So the high elf is still behind the counter. Mm -hmm. He sees you come in and he says, Ah, oh, welcome back. <coughs> um, what can I do for you? Before he answers, um, Dizzy scans the room. Mm -hmm. What else do I see? Okay. So, there's a couple people sitting around eating. Um, a female halfling. Um... There's another female elf sitting at another table across the way. And then there's mm -hmm. a male halfling and a male female. I'm sorry, a male female. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh, what's, what's the name? Caitlin Jenner. Uh, there's a <laughs> female human sitting at the same table as the male, the male halfling. Okay. Um, but that's basically the entirety of the room. That's fine. So, Dizzy answers the bar, uh, barkeeper. Um, I'm actually looking for a friend. 
and I'm wondering if you could tell me possibly where that friend might have gone. <laughs> he says, uh-huh. If you're looking for friends, I assume you buy somebody a drink. No, 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 no. Uh, somebody that um, may have stayed here or spent a lot of time here. What are you, what are you doing here? Oh. And he says, and he says, I think the price is still the same if you buy a drink or if you're looking for people. You understand what I'm saying to you? I see. So what's the price? He says, well, <laughs> I'm doing the promoter voice. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oops. All right. Wait, go, uh, Brian. No, he goes, uh, he says, well, to get you that, uh, a bit of information to look for. That would probably cost you about, uh, let's say about 50 silver. 50 silver. Or five gold, whichever you have. Five gold. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I have both. But here. Well, take your pick. Here's 50 silver. It Here's spends. 50 silver. So hands over 50 silver. That's a lot. <laughs> All right. That, that is a lot. lot. <coughs> yeah. And he's like, er, okay. <laughs> you uh, said it. Just, I know. He just kind of slides it over to the side of the bar. And says, well, who are you looking for? <clears throat> you know that um, what elf fella that you saw me talking to that one day? Yeah. Do you recall? He says, I remember you being in here. I remember there was you a, talking to someone. There was a wood elf, and he had a snake, and he was reading a book. Okay. Well, and he kind of Ring brings, a bell? The, he brings the silver back over and he pushes it towards you again. And he says, why don't you go ahead and keep this? Okay. Uh, what for? And he says, because I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Really? Yes. It, he says, matter of fact, it's probably better if you leave now. Hmm. Okay. Just Another place out. that Dizzy can't enter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> is Dizzy won't be allowed in any place. <laughs> <laughs> but, is that because Dizzy asks all the right questions? So, let's see. Yeah, Does Dizzy have no fucking tact? <laughs> How about Dizzy does this? Okay. Uh, first of all, he's an elf. That doesn't mean that he succeeds though. Oh, never mind. He can't oh, do that. You, you said you wanted to do that. You already put the card up and everything, man. No, he's an elf. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, he knows. Oh, my God. Advantage on saving throws against being charmed. All right, sir. Let's do this thing. <laughs> uh, D20 plus... Let's say that... Oh, he's got a 20, oh. Gert. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Ouch. fucked. Uh, Alex, that's another establishment you're kicked out of. Yeah. Pretty much. The creature knows that it was charmed by you. Oh, man. So, you basically kind of do, like, the little hand movements and the voice and everything. And he kind of shakes his head for a bit, and he says, What is wrong? Get out! And he points, and he says, Now! And as you do that, as you kind of bellows a little bit, all, all eyes kind of turn and look at you. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. Alright. Fuck. Did you take your silver with you? No. <laughs> you, left it on the, you left it on the bar? Yes. Okay. Shit. Oh, uh, God, I have no fucking leads other than that. No leads. None whatsoever. I am lost. I might as well go back to the damn tavern or the, the inn and just wait for everybody to wake up. All right, so you're whacking back. So to the inn? Which, might as which, well. Uh, I've got no freaking leads. Okay. 
Alternatively, you could dig around in the slum and see if poor people know anything. Sometimes poor oh, people yeah, know right. shit. They're usually a lot Dude, cheaper. The homeless know everything. Sure. Yep. Have you never seen Sherlock? Dude, like. <laughs> Have you never played Oblivion? Yeah, fucking forget Sherlock. Like, he gets carried by homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even Dude. joking. Like, if. Dude. If he did yeah, not have right. his homeless right. people network, he would have just, he would have fucking, like, never gotten anything done. Alright. Be the Grey Fox, Dizzy, I believe. So. I tried to be. <laughs> I don't know what me and Brian were talking about one that one night, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't working out for me very well. No. So. I'm sorry. I just didn't. It's all good. That's the way things are. So. I have ideas, but I can't hit, do anything. Head back. <clears throat> Because it's a pretty straight shot, like through this way, but you uh -huh. can kind of meander around and do like an investigation to see if you find anything. It's your call. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess I do have time. I, I will. Uh, yeah. I'm going this way. Through this way. Okay. Down this way. Through this way. Maybe I'll skirt the arena. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Just make me an investigation check as you're going through. Nope. Okay. Um, Fail. Don't, Fail. Yeah, you don't really notice anything of importance, it seems like. Um, as you go through the, uh, the slums, though, because it's starting to become a little bit morning and stuff, um, mm -hmm. immediately... As soon as you come running into the, come into the slums, um, one sec. Yeah, I'll just make a base. Of one sec here. Ah, that's not how you spell that. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. Oh, I'm sure I am. See, I told you I'm gonna be the one that fucking dies. <laughs> Don't gonna get fucked up, boy. Yep. You better not fuck him up. I was the one that said you should check with the poor people, and it'll be my fault again. And I swear to God, if I get everyone's characters <laughs> killed, I'm gonna throw my laptop out a window. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, the only person's fault it is that people get killed is mine. Okay, so... A. Window. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's, uh... Alrighty. Can you turn on your Skype cam when you do it, though? Because I think it'd be awesome to watch first-person view of being thrown out the window. Absolutely. <laughs> if I end up That'd getting all the characters cool. killed, I will. Just for you. Aw, oh, man, I love you, buddy. That'd be great. I'm glad I can contribute. <laughs> ah, I'm helping! I'm helping! I'm helping! <laughs> My name's Jarvin, and I'm helping. No, shut the fuck up. Princess Jarvin's a bad person. Oh. Uh, and I helped. And I helped. Hamburger helper commercial. <laughs> I'm waiting for my demise. Yeah, it's fucked. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> because it was there, and I had it, and now it's not. So I don't know what the fuck happens in the meantime. But anyways. Well, I can't um, find the specifics of your doom, but I'm just not sure I care anymore, so you don't yeah, die too bad. It's fine. Uh, so you walk into the slum. Oh, how generous. You, uh, like this group of orphans come up to you and they're like, Mister, Mister, and they're kind of like pulling on your clothes and stuff. And they're like, Help, help, please, can you spare anything? And like, they're giving you all these different sob stories. Oh, my mom's sick. I need food. I haven't eaten in a week. Blah, blah, blah. You know, just all kinds of stuff. Um, they're all like around there. Hmm. I keep pushing through. Okay. Uh, Heartless. Yeah. <laughs> Chaotic and neutral, bitch. One girl in particular kind of pulls, like, on your, your cloak of the bat, and it kind of, like, turns you a little bit. And she says, Sir, sir, I just want some food. Please, just just a couple copper. And then she pulls on your, your jacket, or your whatever the fuck. Um, and you kind of turn a little bit. Um, and as you do, make a perception roll. Please let me know. I hope you're getting. 
pick five. The lowest right I can up. roll is an eight. Oh. oh are you kidding me? Ten? God. Well, technically it's not an eight. Yeah. Inspiration, yeah. inspiration. I have no insp I have no inspiration. Uh, really? Well, that's, a, that's a you yeah, kind of that's more inspiring. Yeah, I yeah, know. Listen to that guy, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, maybe Let's by giving the poor children some money? Yeah. I so wouldn't Yeah, why do that when you can just let them steal off your vulnerable body? <laughs> Alternatively, right. you can kill them all and then you can inspire the town to be afraid I of I like you. that plan. Do that too. <laughs> yeah, that'll work All of the above. Well. All of the above. So you kind of push her off your cloak and you're like, get away from me, and as you turn, um, a guy that you didn't see approach um, blows this stuff into your eyes, kind of like off of his hand, and it kind of gets all in your eyes, and it immediately you go blind. Ah! And it, 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 yeah, basically like, ah! and like, it's the pain is so intense, it kind of makes you like curl up into a ball for a second. Um, and as you do, um, you feel like this sack in the back of your head, <laughs> and um, everything goes black. Fuck! Oh shit! You just got mugged! Yeah. Or, you know, mugged, you kidnapped. Not mugged, kidnapped, yeah. So... Thanks, Alex. <laughs> all, all depends <laughs> on where he wakes up. up. True. Yeah. I'll be a fucking flesh golem. <laughs> <laughs> you flesh golem, class. Oh, damn. Only in the Nexus. Alright, so... Oh, wait, I can make you a flesh golem if you want. <laughs> I can do that now. Oh, hey, and... By the way, I'm going to add it to the optional rules. I just totally forgot to. Um, if there are any more character deaths or anything and you want to keep the character that you have, um, priests in the town and stuff, they can do a reincarnation spell, but that's the only one that they know how to do. Okay? So basically, you get to keep your mental stats, but you're going to reroll your physical stats when that happens. So you yeah, can become a fish. Well... You can become whatever the fuck the thing says. Okay. Says. But, yeah, it's basically random whatever class and stuff. We're well, not class, but, like, um, race. Whose body are we using? Or, no, no, just in general. Like, because when you do that, it says creature takes... If it's just uh, random race. Yeah, it's basically random race. Can you add in the fun races at different numbers, though? Okay. Or are we going with only book races? No, I'll, I'll, I'll throw some other <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'll throw. I'll, I'll do the whole. I'll do the whole smorgasbord. You guys can come back as like the fucking bird creatures. So. Oh, dude, I love those. <laughs> oh, dude, I love those. But that's gonna be like a high roll because they're pretty OP. So. But you guys, you know that's what I mean, light right? Speed. But. Yeah. So when you guys <laughs> do that, you're gonna roll three new stats, and you'll keep your mental stats because your wisdom and everything. To me, that makes sense that those wouldn't change because it's the same soul, but the bodies change so. That the physical ones are going to change. Oh my god. I'm going to meet Kagrath and reincarnate her, and she's going to keep her same mental stats, which are all my dump stats. Well, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to keep those. I know. <laughs> you know. So. But yeah, it, if you really. And then they usually charge a fee. <coughs> so the materials and stuff that cost is about a thousand gold, and they'll usually charge a fee, which is probably going to be about another thousand gold. So. About two thousand gold, give or take, if you guys want. But that's just coming up. It has nothing to do with what's going on with Dizzy right now. <laughs> this is just, not foreshadowing uh, at all. Yeah, you know, it. It's just because it came to my mind. I'm totally honest with you. But it's um, just a helpful F FYI. Yeah. So, uh, Dizzy, that um, you could to go to somebody else if you want to. Oh, well, we're going to cut the okay. black, sir. So, okay. Uh, we're gonna say morning, Kagrath. You walk in. Give me one moment, because we're gonna do some switching. Set a flip, flop, flip a de flop. Mm -hmm. Set a hip, up, yeah. a hip to the hip, the hip, 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 hip. Don't stop the rock. Oh man. <laughs> the '80s were such a great time for hip hop. It was, it was such a great time for everything, man. Did you see the hair? Did you see the way that they tuck their fucking t-shirts into their jeans? Oh my god! <laughs> it's truth. 
I highly encourage anybody who has Amazon Prime too to go watch the Friday the Thirteenth series as well. That's really good. Anyways, okay. you can do such great things on cocaine. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Kagareth, you walk in. Um, Grash, Gippy, Flan, you guys are kind of waking up a little bit unless Flan wants to sleep in some more, as he typically does. Yep, I'm still sleeping, so when he comes in and wakes me up or knocks on the door and wakes me up, I do have it locked, though, if there's a lock. Um, yeah, they would they would have, like, a simple lock, basically. like. A Don't worry, we've got a rogue who can pick it. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, our rogue just got robed. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, so... Kagrave, okay, you walk in. Um, the half-orc, the tiefling, and the uh, cute girl behind the bar are still there. Um, you walk in, and she goes, Good morning. Uh, we're serving breakfast still, if you're interested. Oh, this one will have breakfast. And she says, Great. And she points up at the board and says the same things that uh, Dizzy had. Uh, roasted pork and pecan bread, salted deer and soft cheese, vegetable stew, roasted shellfish and dried leek. Uh, Kagroth will just have the pecan bread. Just the just the bread? Yeah, just the bread. Okay. Like breakfast. She says, well, we'll give you a double portion. And she says, do you want the ale too? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. And she goes in the back and she just gets it real quick and brings it out. Mm. Sure, and, uh, okay. Puts it in front of you. She says, anything to drink? No, I can do that They're now. They're good, but they can get a little dry. Mm. Yeah. Oh, surprise me. And she goes... Okay, and she goes in the back, and she comes back with a nail. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Yeah. This one didn't so. expect this. Yep, that's the most random thing. So <laughs> she goes over and starts talking to the half orc and everything again. Um, Grash, as you're waking up, and you've had this the worst fucking night of sleep in your life. Um, you get up and you tear the sheets off the bed and everything, and you look at the bed. Um, and make a perception roll for me real quick. The roll. God, what is the with rolls? the rolls? Yeah. And you're looking the at dice the dice. Say no. Yeah, and you're looking at the bed, and you're trying to like, but <coughs> just can't figure out the reasoning for why you had such a rotten night of sleep. And like your scales and stuff, there's like these red bumps in between your scales and everything, and you're like, what the hell is going on? So, um, hmm? out of character, mm -hmm. is this a disease? Uh, no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> where's the fun in that? Yeah, you need to visit the brothels more if that's what you want. No, oh, well, I'm immune. Crash is I, I have immunity. Immune. Yeah, that's why I was double checking. You weren't like giving me a disease that I'm immune to because no. that. I, would, uh, I know, that means Crash did not get through. STDs. Yeah, no, it's yep. not a disease. Uh, out of character, but you didn't really just... I, I, I don't care if it's not a disease. I'll figure it out. I, it's That's fair. I'm okay with not knowing it. Okay. No, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a disease, and I was no. going to be like, ha fuck you, Brian. Come up yeah. with a new excuse, bitch. Um, yeah, no. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. But you just can't figure out what, what's going on right now. Um, Gippy, you feel awesome. Actually sleeping in a bed, we're going to call that inspiration for you. I already inspiration. have inspiration. I don't I'll use have inspiration. My, my problem is I never use inspiration. And okay. you Does always give it to me. Inspiration like, stack in 5 No. It, no. No. Ah, it's damn. One it's, and done. it's like elixir. It's like elixirs in Final Fantasy, where you're like, hey, I have this really awesome healing item. I should save it just in case, but you never use them. Oh yeah, there's always like, you always get to the boss fight and you're like, hmm, maybe I should use it. No, this is for an emergency. <laughs> Wait, if it's not a boss fight, then what is it? <laughs> like, <No>. What? <laughs> um, that is an emergency. Um, like, no, no joke, everyone's dead. <laughs> love potion? I'll save you for later. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Um, so, Gippy's up, Grash is up. Uh, you guys can go out into the main area if you'd like. Um, what else we got going on? Flan is still sleeping, unless you wake him up. So. Your call. 
Let's do something. Okay. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to go out into the main room because I would assume that Grash <laughs> has totally forgotten that Flan told us to do that until I don't see him. Uh, Thank you, which is the thing I did do. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm in the main too. room, and yes, I'm going to... Yeah, no, you, you just I'm fucking talk. That's great. Yes. Kagrath, kind of, Kagrath, kind of... Yeah. Kagrath asks you guys, like, oh, where's the colorful one and then the blue one? As soon as well, Kagrath says that, Grath is going to be like, oh, shit, and, like, walk and go back and knock on the door for him to get his ass up. Okay. Uh, and if I don't hear him respond after, like, the first couple, like, first knock or two, I am going to roar. Just, like, fucking roar through the door. <laughs> So scary scene that he gets up. Oh yeah, now, I'm gonna, gonna wake up everyone hunt. in this hotel. Okay. Because I'm also a little pissed off that this inn did not let me sleep, and I'm guessing it's bed bugs, but. <laughs> <laughs> you are staying at uh, what is it, Astrid at the park, the one that had all the big bed bug videos online. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's so, rough shit. Dude, that place is rated like four stars or some shit too. That is fucking gross. Um, but yeah, Flan, definitely you wake up. Yeah, I'm gonna stumble to the door and open it. I am clad in basically what is shorts and a tank top, so you get to see how blue I am. I'll be all right. Yeah, uh, thank y'all. Let me just, and I'm gonna gesture at the dresser, implying that I'm gonna put clothes on real quick. Hurry up, and then I'm gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> like, without saying anything else, I don't give a fuck if he goes back in the room. It's just like, hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wait on your lazy ass. Make me wake you up like some kind of goddamn alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't own me. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so you guys come back. Um, and you're sitting here, the the uh, cute girl walks over. Um, and she says... Um, was that you just now? And she was talking about the roar, obviously. I don't know what you mean. Serving breakfast? Uh, she, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And she points at the board. Uh, and again, pork, deer, vegetable stew, shellfish. Is there a picture of this take... girl? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay. This is, this Take up. This is a uh, improv cute girl. All right. Okay. Cool. But imagine like the cute anime girl with the big boobs. Imagine All right. Cool. Got it. I rolled a d twenty for. I rolled a d twenty for hotness. I got fourteen. Yeah, that's about right. There fourteen out of twenty. It's always out of ten, <laughs> sir. Always out of ten. Okay. All right. Cool. D ten. All right. I rolled a d20 for Long, age and got a Long locked himself in his own room. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Go on, What's wrong please. with this latch? <laughs> Why can't I get out of here? Oh my god. How drunk was I? Alright. But Kagrath like, says to Grash, I've totally forgotten what nickname I've given Grash, but I'm gonna make it up like... Uh, shit, he who is a like, dick to Gippy. Perfect. You want me to be worse, Gippy? I can be worse. I can you be a lot nothing. worse. You heard nothing. You, dude, you punted me like a football across the field. I don't even want to fucking hear it. Did that happen? I don't remember that. You, I he threw, threw him me. out of the tent. He I did not punt him. him. I that threw him. And that was after what? you caused all of the party damage. <laughs> after. So, I, I don't I don't know. My jokes cause psychic damage. I don't know that. So, all right. Everyone tells you to stop. <laughs> Two girls standing there. She's looking at you all for orders. What you want to eat. Well, Kagra's eating her bread. Yeah, so you got your bread, stuff in your mouth, and you got your ale. Well, Kagra's going to tell... It's good bread, though, the... too. Like the pecan bread. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. pretty tasty. I know. Kagras like has has her mouth full, and she's talking with her mouth full. She's like, yeah. "Oh, Futuro, there's you got the book book tomorrow." Yeah. The cute girl points to see. You got bread's good. Told you so. And so yeah, she's talking to both Flahan and Grash with her mouth full. <laughs> yep. 
uh, can I get some of whatever she's eating? And also, can y'all say that again when your mouth ain't full? I understood, I think, tomorrow. Uh, we're booked. I'm going to turn to Kagrath, or not to Kagrath, to Flahan and be like, we're booked to fight tomorrow. Uh, do, you, do you know what my fight is? Am I punching people? Am I shooting things? Barehanded fight. Oh. All right, now oh, why not? Shit. Tomorrow's a not tomorrow isn't a uh, tomorrow's a non-weapon day, so all the fights are theme all the fights are themed without weapons. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't want to well, kill anyone. <laughs> yep. Oh, I've done that anyways. I guess Come I'll punch on, for you. my one v one. What's the point of this, this arena thing you keep on talking about? Glory. Money. Violence for money. Ah! Fun. But what about the, uh, the autumn death thing? Oh, oh, I already said I'd do this, have a week. and I have no idea what we're going to do about that. I'm not the person who finds out stuff. I'm the kind of person who talks to folk. Ah. <laughs> Grash is going to give him the face that, like, what? That was the stupidest Thing. You find things out by talking to people. <laughs> like, what, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, the real question is, am I too tired to notice your incredulous glare? I... It, it, uh, just... Just dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I'd open, like... I just I... want to say... I just want to say again. We've gone back to having our party full of idiots. <laughs> Well, dude, it never left fortunate. having a party full of videos. Right, so misfortunate is more like it. But while everybody's sitting there, uh, cute girl, she's she kind of goes, eh, eh. "Are there any more orders, real quick, before I go in?" But oh, uh, the deer and the pork, right here. Uh, she says those are two different things. I want them both. Okay. And then she looks at Kathy and she says, What about you? Uh. I. We don't have a kid's menu. <laughs> I think it's a lovely Bursts day. Bursts out outside. laughing. Bursts out <laughs> laughing as loud as you. Oh my god. What's so funny? Did someone tell a joke? I like jokes. I know the joke. No. no What's stop, so funny? Stop. You'll kill the poor girl. So. <laughs> Well, no, thank you. I think it's a lovely day outside, so I'm gonna go take a walk. All right. She goes, okay. So she goes back and yells. Uh, a few minutes later, she comes out with the food. Uh, oh, uh, as Gippy's walking out, I'm gonna yell to him, Hey, uh, keep an eye out for the elf. He didn't come out when I woke this one up. <laughs> Benjamin Quartz, Flahan. Okay. I'm I'm not his babysitter, so uh I was like meet I was like, where do you go? Oh. <laughs> and you wonder why no one <laughs> Well you be a dick, I'm gonna be a dick back, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> you dick. 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 So Ka yeah. dick today. So Kagra's like, so oh, we're going yeah. to the magistrate's office today? Why? Mm, to tell her to, I assume that you did a job, right? I mean, we didn't solve the problem, but I see no harm in updating her on the situation. Mm hmm The thing is, like, I thought, wasn't it we just were going to just scout? Um, yeah, the idea was basically. You guys are going back to see what happened with the farm because yeah, you guys were yeah, it's pretty much before, like so. yeah, it's just like it was a scouting mission. We weren't like there to like solve anything. We we're just kind of there to scout. Mm, yeah, yeah, but in Grash's mind, it's still an <coughs> issue, and he likes to do things complete and like see okay. them through before he like yeah. goes and does it. Because then it, it seems like we're like ah, hey. Mm -hmm. We uh, found another problem, and she's just going to tell us to go take care of the new problem, you know? And Kagras is going to freak out about it, yeah. Yeah. Kagras is like, way. oh, we can find the star card thing. 
Any that's ideas deep. as to where? When you guys nope. say dark heart, uh, make perception roll. You three that are at the bar. Okay. Hold on. It's that Another four. Perception. Hey! All right. One sec here. This one I know I have. <laughs> Come on. Upload. Piece of shit. Fuck you, CenturyLink. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Um, as you're sitting there, kind of as like you mentioned, the dark heart, um, mm -hmm. the half orc, the um, tiefling, and the, the Hugh girl all kind of their heads kind of tilt and look at you for a sec, and you see this uh, kind of like flash over their features a little bit, and then they kind of stop for a second and then go back to their regular talking. Oh shit! Holy shit! Yeah. But it's just uh, like a quick, like, something that happens to them. And, like, they don't seem to be aware of it at all. What happened? Yeah, right? Sam Holy saw something. <laughs> Only Kagroth knows. Holy mm. shit, that's scary as hell! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> because that doesn't I'm sound scared. bad. Yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm sure okay it's with fine. it. <laughs> Everything well, is fine. <laughs> Well, Kavgrath has her, like, it's kind of like a thing, like, her face, her face is, like, full of food, like, her mouth's full of food, like, she's chewing, but then she just chews slow, like, just slower and slower, like, what? <laughs> um, well, actually, real quick, make me a fear roll, which is... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what was that? First out of the freed! A wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving. Please don't destroy the inn out of terror. I don't think that's what we need. No, you're good. You're good. Thank God. So, basically, you see this, um, and it kind of shakes you for a second, but uh, kind of gut reaction is it was just something, it, eyes playing tricks. So, you're not really sure if you saw it or not. Uh, well, do my party members notice me, nope. like... Okay. Yeah, they, they're, they're kind of indulging in their food, and they're talking about the day, and what they're going to do, and they say dark heart, and then all this stuff happens. And then, oh, God, no. I'm sleepily... Sleeping my way through bread. That too. He's he's zombie chewing his bread. So. Yep. Um, Holy shit, though, that's scary. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get to it. The, fear, the horror part is coming up soon. Believe me. I can't wait to get into it. It's, it's so good. Oh my god. Elation. So. Um, <laughs> Kagarath, you have this kind of like a little bit of mini revelation about maybe not saying the names of things, mm. even <laughs> even though you're not the brightest in the world. Yeah, it seems like the names have power. Oh man, oh man, I'm gonna go into the arena in the main match, and after the match, I'm gonna say Dark Heart. <laughs> that's, that's smart. <laughs> that's exactly what do it. Do. Oh my god! Yeah. Rest uh, in peace, everyone. Gibby, I'm okay with it. Do you find any food, or what are you doing for food? Uh, good steak. Good, good <laughs> steak. Just make himself a good steak. Um, well, I wasn't going to eat. I was going to do something. Well, <laughs> that's a point of contention. You need to eat, I'm afraid. You didn't have dinner, uh, you didn't have breakfast. Love yourself. Yeah. It's the most important feeling. <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, son. Okay? Well, you know, unless... Real, you need to get yourself a Jamba Juice or Protein Shake or something. Okay? <laughs> Realistically, he's a halfling and he's a druid. So, when he wakes... when just If he's hungry, it's not like, Oh, I gotta eat right now. Okay. No, that makes sense. Uh, oh, hey, man. Yeah. Halflings are supposed to be obsessive about food, man. That's like a racial trait right there. 
<laughs> that's how you feel like a requirement. Your, yeah. That's how you fuel your lucky trade is with food. So if you don't eat, you don't get your lucky trade. Fucking <laughs> uh, Wait, guys, yeah. in the middle of a picket battle. Hold on, guys, I need to uh, yeah. fuck myself. Takes out a bagel. Yeah. Just... Stuffing like a burrito in his face. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Pulls the Skyrim move where out. all of us have to pause and he just eats everything he has in his bag. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in Skyrim when you're out of potions but you need a heal, so you eat, eat like 90 things of lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> Two hit points each, and you're like, oh, fuck. Why would you even carry that much lettuce? Anyways, um... I soups. It's, it's lettuce without the wraps. Okay, um, what did you want to do, Gibby? So, if you recall, from a certain Dr. Aaron Potter, uh, I discovered some shiny evil tools. Yes, you did. That They're I want quest, to... They're in your quest item, by the way. They are. See, I don't look at those, so... Which is why I fucking brought up the other day, everybody should take a look at their magic items. So is it the clock device? And what's the other one? Mechanical ring? Mechanical I ring. did look at my... I looked at my magic items, oh, but I didn't bug. notice anything. Yeah, I ain't mechanical got shit. Bug. Yeah, I mine didn't change either. Well, you know what? It was more of a, like, a pointed message for some people. And for Gippy. It was no, for Gippy. Because there's some people that have things and they haven't been using them, and I'm like, well, are you it's keeping these? Are they tuned? I, What's going on? I'm a magic item whore. Yeah, I you are. It. It's yeah. a serious condition. Oh. Okay. Alright, I'm going to be fascinated with the bug, because, okay. you know, bugs are my thing. And I'm just going to I'm gonna put it in the on the ground in front of me and watch it. Like, hmm. Okay. Um... Wind it? Do you do anything with it? Do you, do you try and like get no, the ears to move? Do you tinker with just, it at all, or just I'm put it on the sitting, ground? I'm sitting, setting it down. I'm gonna look at it. Okay, you gain no knowledge from it. <laughs> okay, uh, then I'm gonna pick it up, and then I will lightly toss it into the air, and then if it doesn't do anything, I'll catch it. Um, that's all you do. You don't like move any of the gears or anything that's on it. Yeah, let's see if it'll take flight yeah. by itself. So you throw it in the air, and it immediately starts to fall to the ground. Nothing happens with it. <laughs> it's like, ow! So, All right. Science! Well, that, was, that was helpful. Yeah. So, and you're going to try and catch it, you Gippy said? Yeah, Gippy Laboratories. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> make a uh, acrobatics or athletics check, whichever one's better for you. Uh, I, think, I actually think it's athletics, and I have no idea how that works. Or why? <laughs> but one is zero and the other one's negative one. <laughs> uh, athletics is plus three. Acrobatics is plus two. All right, whichever one's better for you. Ooh, Ooh um, you're, it, you're you're catching a bug that you threw up, so it's only like ten. So yeah, you catch the thing, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything even with you sciencey out of it. <laughs> Can I examine it all over its body's body to see if it has like a specific place where you wind it up, like a little, I don't know, yeah. what did you call it, uh, lever or whatever? Down, it's kind of hard to see on this picture, but down near like the butt, like the bottom of like the thorax area, there is like a little key that you can turn. Oh, okay. I will definitely. I'll wind it up, but if I feel like too much resistance, I'll stop so I don't snap anything. Okay, so you crank it, right, right, right. And as you do, um, like these little wings pop out of it, and it goes, and it comes, kind of like floats up in the air, and it kind of floats like right next to you, right next to your face. Ooh, hello! And it's just kind My of like. My name is Gippy Twistwood. No, it's just hovering there. It's not doing anything. It's not reacting at all. Um, what's your name? Hovering. It's not moving. Um. Let's see. Uh. Just kidding. My name isn't Gippy. It's Aaron Potter. It's still just hovering there. Um. You know what you should do, Mr. Bug? 
is fly forward five feet. And does that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! Um. Now, you should dance. It just, it just hovers there. Uh, I mean, damn. Oh, now you should cast Fireball. It just hovers. Ah, shit. Um. <laughs> it explodes in a fireball. You take eight d six damage. <laughs> no saving throw uh, since you asked for it. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I think you're done for now, Mister Bug. You can come back now. And it, it goes and it flies and it collapses right into your feet. Like the wings come in at your feet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the next device, but I'll let someone else do something. Okay. Um. If you guys don't care, I'm gonna do Dizzy's thing real quick. Nah, dude, do oh, Dizzy. The interrogation oh, Lord. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so Dizzy. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. already trying to roll it. I'm already trying to roll a new character here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already putting a character. He already on. has it put together. <laughs> uh, so, kind of groggily, um, you feel. Um, like what appears to be like like some sort of canvas bag over your head or something, and you're kind of coming to a little bit. And you see some light around you, hear voices and stuff, but you're uh -huh. still really out of it. You feel like a huge sore welt forming on the back of your head where somebody hits you with a sap. Um, uh -huh. And as you're and two people have you by your arms, they're dragging you, um, uh -huh. and you hear kind of like a more commanding voice, and he says, "He says there," and, you, and then you kind of slump down and you fall into a chair, and as you do. Um, you feel your arms being pulled back behind you um, and wrapped in okay. some rope and tied. And he says, mm -hmm. and then you hear a voice says, all right, give him a slap. And you, you feel a slap across your face. And it kind of, the pain kind of brings you. Yeah, Ow. Um, he says, take that fucking hood off. And he takes his hood off of him. Um, and your eyes are kind of blurry and they're clearing and they still sting a little bit, but. It seems like somebody washed him out or something. Like, your vision's clearing a little bit. Uh -huh. um, and as you do, you see this guy standing in front of you. Um, make an intelligence check real quick. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a save. All right. All right. Um, the last time you were in the Leafy Crown Inn, not this time today... The last mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. there was the wood elf, and then there was also another guy sitting over in the corner. Um, the oh, same okay, guy that was sitting here. over in the corner before. Mm. Okay. Did the he kill them okay. all? The human. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah, the human. Yeah, and he kind of props down and uh, crouches on the, on the balls of his feet in front of you, and he looks at you and he says. Ah, now you're coming around, aren't you? And he kind of backhands you and slaps you across the face again. Uh, make a constitution save. Okie dokie. Let's fail this shit. Or not. Yeah. Maybe. Not, dude. I used up all the fails. Don't worry. <laughs> I used up all the fails. <laughs> uh, and he's sitting there and he says... That's my worst stat. One of them. And he kind of grabs your face and points it towards you and he says... You are in a world of shit, my son. And he, fun he, he uh, comes around with his fist and he cracks you right in the face again. Make another constitution save. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Dizzy! <laughs> um, you no. take... Two damage. Bludgeon. Okay. Um, All right. And he's got your face kind of, like, held in his hand, and he says, You've been asking all kinds of fucking questions, haven't you? And then he hits you again, <laughs> right across the face, and the Constitution save. Shit. Ooh. Yeah. Another, what, two? Or are oh, you going to roll? Ooh, six damage. As he hits you, you feel, like, this fracture in your jaw. Um, and, like, your teeth kind of break as well. Um, and blood and spittle and stuff comes out the side of your mouth. And um, he stands up over and he says, 
He says, ha, there we go. Now, why don't you tell me who the fuck you're working for? Not before you tell not before you tell me who you are. And he says he looks at the other two that are standing next to him and he says, We got a <laughs> fucking joker and he fucking pulls his foot back and plows it right into your stomach. Uh make another constitution save. God uh, He kinda hits funny though. Um and as he does, um it hits on your armor and stuff, so your armor takes most of the blunt of it. Um, uh -huh. You know, it protects those vital areas a little bit more, and you only take one damage yeah. from Okay. Yeah, and he says, he says, I don't know who the fuck you think you are asking me who I work for when you're asking about all kinds of the wrong things around my fucking city. And then he says, now who the fuck do you work for, or I'm going to stop taking your fucking eyes out. I work for myself. And he, <laughs> he says, fucking, and then he pulls back his hand to like do like a hammer fist on your face. Um, he says, last fucking chance. I work. And he brings the hammer fist down onto your chin. Um, this guy's brutal. He's going to kill anyone before he can get any information. Yeah, they usually do. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. You're good. 13. I thought it was an 8. You're fine. Oh, 13. Yeah, you're good. Uh, and as he does so, you're kind of getting used to it. Your face is a little bit numb. Um, and he hits you. And um, he says, and he holds your face, and he says, and he, as he does, he pulls out this piece of paper and pushes it into your face, and it's really good standing, and he says, what the fuck does this look like? You recognize this? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and he kind of smear. He pushes your face into it a little bit. And he smears the blood off, and he pushes it away, and it falls on the ground. And he says, and he says, "You're working for the fucking magistrate. Coming in here, asking about all fucking gang. You and you think you're gonna walk out of this? Hey, you never asked me my motives. Uh, and he says, "We got a fucking." And he pulls back again with another hook. Um, make a sleight of hand check. <clears throat> there you go. Um, you can start to feel where you can get out of the ropes. Okay. And back. So, you've identified where the weakness is, basically, mm -hmm. in the ropes themselves. But he does come mm -hmm. across and hit you with another hit across the face. <clears throat> uh, con save, you're good. Um, uh, like I said, you're, you're just really not feeling it, because the pain in your jaw, pain gateway mechanism and all that, Mm-hmm. Um, and he pulls pulls you up out of your chair, and he says, Well, wait, stop. How many rounds, quote-unquote, I know we're not in combat, but how many rounds do you think have gone by? Uh, you rounds? had to say. Yes. Six I'm asking seconds. for a specific reason. No, I would say probably about five, give or take. It's about 30 seconds. All right. Let's see. How many hits have I taken? One... Two. <laughs> Hang on. One, two. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Un I don't think you can uncanny dodge this. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So I regain three hit points. Okay. Because I have that ring. Okay. Every round oh, I, can, I, I can roll 1d4 and gain however many hit points. Okay. Uh, okay. I like That's fair. Ring. That's fair. Um, okay. Okay, and uh, you can feel like your jaw starts to knit back a little bit together, and like um, some of like the cuts inside your cheeks and stuff feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. The, um, but it for, it makes you kind of your eyes drop a little bit, and like you don't have like any energy. Um, okay, take one point of exhaustion. Oh yay! Oh, that's inspiration. If you don't die. Yeah. Please. Okay. So. Um. He says, "Don't worry, we're not gonna kill you yet. We still got some information that we need." And he kind of snaps his finger, and um, guy comes 
out with like a bundle of what sounds like tools like jingling together and he puts them on the table that's nearby and he rolls them out and there's all kinds of like pliers and and hammers and like chisels and things like that and he's oh god (laughs) give me your not even uh dude i'm just picturing it i'm cringing yeah and he rolls it out yeah and he says and he says now I wonder how many toes we can take before you tell us everything that we need. And he goes to start taking off your boot. Make another slight hand check. Alright. So, um, you start to wear away at it. Um, mm-hmm. I would say another successful slight of hand check, and you'll be good to go. You can break out of it. Okay. Alright. All right. So he pulls off your boot, um, and he's got your, like, your foot right there, and he says, now, I'm going to ask you a question. If I don't like the answer, I'm going to take off all your toes from your foot. You understand what I'm saying to you? And he reaches up, and he doesn't grab, he grabs, like, the saw, and it, it's, like, a, it's uh, very rudimentary looking, and it's caked. It's got little bits of flesh and, like, different things on it, and he puts mm-hmm. it on top of all your toes, and he says, he says, all it take about one good swipe through this, and he kind of pushes a little bit, and you feel it kind of dig into your feet, into your toes. Mm -hmm. Um, And just a little bit under the skin, you can feel the blood start to trickle in between your toes. And he says, Now, what do you got to say? Now this slide of hand check. Okay. You know, if I take a swing at this guy, I don't have shit to back it up, because I got a, like, zero in strength. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right. So. Funny action dodge. Yeah. I. Funny action yeah. disengage. Run so, away. Yeah. I put in a DC. Funny action. Team, so we're gonna we're gonna say you get it. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want you to lose all your toes and then be bitching later. <laughs> so, as you do, he does that, you feel you wear it away enough that you're able to break it. Uh, mm-hmm. And you have a couple different options. You can do do I have anything? What do I have on me? I obviously probably don't have my bag. I probably don't have my weapons. Yeah, your bag, your weapons, gone. Okay. Uh, you still have your armor on. Right. You left your armor on. Um, presumably because they wanted to beat the fuck out of you and not have you die right away. Um, right. And then... That's pretty much it. You got your armor and you got your cloak. They left your cloak on. What's the light like? It is dim in there, for sure. It's like a, it's kind of like a warehouse kind of a thing. <laughs> All right, then I'm immediately grasping the edges of that cloak and turning into a bat. All right, perfect. Shape shit. Screech, screech, screech. Give me one sec here. Okay. Make sure you take the disengage action. Yeah, and you can do that as a bonus action. Yeah, don't don't worry yeah, about that. Yeah, that's so my much. bonus action. Don't worry about that so much. Okay. Because <laughs> this would be like kind of like a surprise round where you, you automatically could kind of disengage from it um, mm-hmm. because they weren't really expecting you to break out of it. So, one moment. Uno momento, por favore. All right. I hate when I do that. I'm trying to select your token, but I have it on the map layer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you're about... Here. I see black. I know. Give me a moment. Okay. I know what you <clears throat> fucking see. God okay! Damn! damn. Oh! Uh. I mean, oh. zoom out, because it's a big map. Yeah, those it's grunts the got real corner. sexually charged real fast. Yeah, what the fuck? Zero to hundred <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah. I got a Glad you corner. noticed that too. Ah, uh, yes, a rare known cut off all my toes fetish. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm. All right, so I'm, I'm into here. it. Okay. I think. I don't know. Do you see yourself down in the corner? Mm-hmm. All right, so you're there. Um, it's very dim in this area that you're in. Um, once you got outside, though, you'll probably immediately turn back into a person. Probably. So. 
I'm trying to think of my options. I really don't want to leave these these guys. How many guys are there? Uh, there's four. There's a guy who brought in the tools. The guy who's going to cut oh, your feet off, your toes off, and the two guys who drug you in. They were just kind of standing by, so they're hanging around. Uh, uh -huh. You can dash out of there if you want, or you can you can run out. You can fly out of there if you want, but presumably there's probably more people in here. Yeah. Shit. Also, if I may be so bold, I'd recommend, if possible, finding your stuff. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say that, too. You should yeah, not leave that's... without all your things. No, I'm definitely going to find that, but I don't want to leave because I want to talk to them. You want to talk to them? You want to talk to the guys, guys, guys who kidnapped guys, guys. you. Let's just everyone chillax, okay? <laughs> and let's just talk about this. Yeah. Never tell me to calm down. I will fight you. Don't tell me the odds. Cookies and have a good day. <laughs> Let's just guys. There's no need right. for the violence. Well, am I right? First, <laughs> first priority is find my shit. Okay. Uh, so, well, in the darkness, in the dark. Uh, oh, he's got dark. a perception bonus or whatever. I can I have 60 feet of blind sight. Okay. Mm. Echo location. Yeah. Scree, 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 scree. God damn it, I was going to say scree. How could you do this to me? Sure. Uh, do an, just do an investigation roll to see if you can figure out where it's at. But as soon as you turn into a bat, the guy goes, All right, grab it! And then they're all trying to like reach up and snap at you. Sure. Uh, so, I rolled a 14. <laughs> We're going to give you disadvantage, though, because of your exhaustion, and... Oh, uh, yes. Fuck! The fact that they're trying to, like, grab you. So, uh, you're, they're trying to grab at you and stuff, uh, and you don't see your stuff laying out and about in this room here that you're in. Okay. Yeah, and you're flying as you're flying away. They're kind of like, get it before it gets outside, and then they're chasing after you. Uh, I'm gonna give them a roll for this. All right, make. Oh, but he still got the. Um, yeah. Jeremy still has like his disengage action, like as a bonus action, and like a his movement. Well, he right. said, "Don't worry about that part." Yeah, that that part's not really a big deal. It'd be more if they can catch you or not. Um, they keep reaching up to catch you, but you're like, you know, you're a bat. So, it's, <laughs> so you're, you're trying to catch a bat. Yeah, good I, God, I don't, I don't know about you, but whenever I turn into a bat, that's the noises I make. Yeah, <laughs> scree, scree. that's scree, normal scree. for you. Period. Well, shut the scree, fuck. scree. Um, all right, so. Are you are you gonna? Do you want to do an investigation check for this area too? I might as well. All right, go for it. Oh shit! Where is it at? There it is. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> All right. Fuck exhaustion. So in here, you don't see anything either. Um, and this includes this room over here too. Um, but yeah, okay. you can move further down that way if you want. Oops. All right, uh, and I'm gonna make another d20 roll. I need mean, you to make another dexterity save because they're all trying to grab at you. It's fine. Oof. Uh, so as you're kind of flittering around and stuff, you feel this hand come up and it catches you right in its hands, and it's uh, the same guy who was gonna cut off your toes, and he's looking at you and he says, "We got you now." Oh my god, this guy's such a prick. Yeah. Where don't work. Like, you're not cool, kid. Like, shit. Shit, shit, turn shit. Turn back into shit, shit. Turn back into an elf. Turn back into an elf. Like, and then... Okay, sure. And then he'll definitely have me. Oh, well, damn I mean, it. You're, you're a bat now. He has you in a grip as a bat, and then you're going to turn into an elf. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. You probably won't be ready for that. That oh, yeah. displacement right. would be like a grenade. Science. All right, yeah, fine. Like, how many times can you turn into a bat? Once. 
Mm. Oh. Yep. Oh. See. Yep. The plan gets a lot worse. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you're gonna turn back yep. into the person. The Might as well. <laughs> that bat thinks he's peoples. Um. So. That he's peoples. You go, <laughs> and you basically turn into a, an elf, like right in his hand, and he's like, he's like. Oh fuck! And he kind of like falls back a little bit from you, and you land on your feet. Um, you don't have one of your boots, but other than that, uh, you're pretty well off. And it, looking behind you, you see one of the thugs, and he's got like your hated lash in his hand, um, and then like also your bag in his hand too. Oh damn! And he, and he points the short sword at you, and he says, "Kill him!" And then the group rushes you. So if you want, you can fight him, or you can try and make a dash for it. If you fight him, you're going to roll initiative. Oh, and I will never fucking live. I won't live. There's no, I have no weapons. Ah, shit. No sneak attack either. Nope. <laughs> nope. I just, I think I just bit the big one. Oh, damn no. it. Okay. Dizzy. Yeah. Dizzy. I'm going to have to there, dash out yeah, here. There's avenues of escape, but fighting them is going to be tough. Okay. Fighting them is going to be Just believe in the heart of the cards. Mm -hmm. so, believe in the dice. Nat tw yep. Double nat 20s all the time. That is no, so easy. No, right? like, that's no. not even a problem. <clears throat> I'm, I'm out of here. Okay, go for it. I know when my freaking... Yeah. Alright, but yeah, you can basically leave... Um, for free. They all try and grab you and stuff as you're trying to go. Um, but you, you know, you're a fucking rogue. So, as you you're go... Weasel your way out. Yeah, you jump out. Choo -choo -choo, you jump out. Uh, <laughs> and what's up? You run past that cart where you guys were dumped as bodies before. Um, uh, if you all remember from the, the Gravedigger. Mm -hmm. Yep. And go right down the alleyway. And you basically take off, and they're like, and you hear the guy yell from the back, he's like, You let him fucking get away! And then all kinds of stuff starts happening around you, but you're just kind of booking it. Um, what's your destination? Do you have one in mind? Uh, yeah, that freaking inn. Okay. Um, so while all this is going on, because keep in mind the timeline, he got nabbed while you guys were still asleep, basically. Um, and then... He's probably going to come walking in the door uh, just as you guys are starting to figure out what's going on. And, and uh, what's his face is trying to get done with playing with the bug. So I'll put you up there. What's his okay. face? Yes, give me. He doesn't get a name. Okay. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Okay. And he, uh, what? He's he, a big he bad evil gets, guy. What? He gets to this point and basically collapses. Okay. Uh, do you say anything to Gippy as you walk in? No. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, Gippy, Gippy look at this cool bug! He doesn't have a boot on. He's got, like, blood running down in between his toes and stuff. Uh, guys at the bar make a perception check. Okay, uh, Dizzy! And, You're gonna uh, get your blood on your one boot! That's disgusting! An eight. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a disadvantage too. I love. Yup. Yeah. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Exhaustion is such a yeah mood killer. Yes. So how is Sam the wisest in the group? That's funny to me. All right. I have proficiency in because the dice are bad people. <laughs> I have a plus three to perception. Well, none of y'all notice shit. Yeah. So dizzy collapses. Kagrath, uh, this kind of pulls your mind away from the uh, the vision that you just kind of had. Um, and you look, and you can, from where you're sitting, can you see him? I don't think so, actually. Uh, Dizzy, we'll move you up here real quick, is that alright? That's fine. Alright, just to say. And you look behind you, and you see the one that you refer to as the colorful one has collapsed in the other dining room. Oh, colorful one! What uh, happened to you? And as Kagrat says that Grash and Flan, you guys can take notice, too. Can we assume we finished eating, or... Yeah, oh, you guys are basically done Because if not, I'm going to take the deer or whatever with me and, like, walk over still eating, like, ah, this guy fucked himself up again. We'll say that you, the pork, you, you still got the pork. Oh, you. Pork. 
so. Alright, that's fine. I will have just in my hand, like, take it with me. Okay. How much did that cost, by the way? Um, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Colossus. That's cool. <coughs> um, let's just go ahead and say two silvers for yours, Grash. Yep. And then it'll be a silver for everybody else that ate. Alright. Kagrath is like... I didn't know you... I was like, I didn't know you were booked today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and by the way, he doesn't look good. Um, oh, you lost horribly. Yeah, his face is all mashed in. His, he's missing a boot. Uh, is, he's been cut up a little bit. So... What Kagrath looks, Kagrath looks I like... I uh, am Lahan gonna crash. lean down and put my hand on Dizzy. And Hang on, I'll be right back. Point. Oh, God damn it! How many hit points does he need? Uh, All of them. Not uh, a lot. He didn't actually get... I mean, like, he's bruised up, but, like, HP-wise... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, like, hit him with the lay on hands until he's back to good. Because so I'm not gonna... You're gonna hit him with the lay on hands. <laughs> but Kagrass, <laughs> like, this is... Feels good. <laughs> but they're holy punches, so it's fine. Yeah. Use my Kagrass. magic hands. Alright. Kagrass, like... This is why only trained professionals should go into the calls into the arena. <laughs> logical explanation. Oh my gosh! Can't grab. All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Sorry. It's all good. Uh, Back. Grass healed you up for six hit points, so you're good to go. Okay. That's exactly my max. Cool. Yeah. And it should be enough to get you back up on your feet, is my point. Is like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Come back to us. There's a little magic healing for you. Okay. <sighs> Grash is going to make it feel good. What's what I uh, do? What, if anything, do you want to tell them, Dizzy, now that they're all there? Are they asking? Not really. Yeah, I said, what and war. Was that common? <laughs> what and where? In a southern accent. It's hard what? to make southern sound good when you're saying two or three words unless you're talking deep, deep south shit. God damn. What, what, what and where what? Where you got this mess. And he's gonna gesture to all of you. Um. Yeah. I got mugged in the slums. Yeah, and since it would seem you're missing some stuff, what and were. So we can go back there, beat the ever-loving out of whoever or whatever did this, and get y'all's things back. I would have to <laughs> show <laughs> you, because I can't just say where. Well then take us. I don't mind, I had breakfast. I need something to this do today. This one agrees. Days. This one doesn't appreciate lackeys getting beaten up. Preferably sooner rather than later, so there might still be clues when they clear out and run. I agree. Hey. All right. Make haste. All right. Hey. Let's, go. Let's do it. You guys We're gonna do the. Uh... <coughs> back to where he was mugged. Back to where he was mugged. Sounds yeah, like and he knows the way back there. Yes. Oh yeah. He I, does. I would. Yeah. I would say as quickly as we can. Not like. Full blown sprint because it's too long. I'm full but... blown sprinting. Well, we can only move as fast as Dizzy moves, but I would. He I'm ready to sprint then. Now that I'm healed up, but I'm still exhausted, I should be okay. Give me one sec. Cause... Yeah, <coughs> Dizzy knows exactly where to go. I did a copy thing, and it didn't do the copy thing. So. Oh. I hate it when it doesn't do the copy thing. I know, right? <laughs> That's the worst. Some bitch. <laughs> Grash in his aura whenever I drop his token, it makes me laugh. All right. <laughs> uh, it's my so, little magic bubble. There you guys are. Um, kind of. Still at the inn? Still yeah. At the end. Kind of not where I wanted you. You got mugged Obviously. two feet outside? Well, Dude. shit, you should have just yelled. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Somebody, somebody, 
<laughs> Giffy was just outside, just watching Dizzy yeah. like get wrecked. <laughs> He's like, like, someone should really help that guy. I found a cool bug. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because he said he's gonna start being a dick. He's just like, yeah, get mugged. I'll fucking mug you next time myself, you little shit. <laughs> this you is for all the crappy. <laughs> this like this is for all the ha ha this is for all the times from the pr from the dun from the <laughs> Undying King's Tomb. <laughs> he gave me crap. <laughs> wow. Okay. So <laughs> here's what we got. Uh, <laughs> You guys show up, he leads you right back to where it's at. Uh, the doors are wide open to this warehouse. Oh, I'm not going to be there, by the way. I'm going to stay and tinker with my thinga. Thing. You're not going to go with him? No. <laughs> wow. They can do whatever. I'm oh, yeah, I, I, have a, I don't care. Ouch. I have a fascinating little gidget gap Ouch. that needs yeah, blowing up. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can I grab... And no yeah, one man. said, hey, Gippy, come here. Everyone just booked it out of the restaurant. What am I supposed to be like, oh, I want to be a part of this and run after you? Yes. That is true. Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. <laughs> no one should have to tell you to come if you saw someone come walking in who got the shit kicked out of them to, like, go and defend him. That shouldn't no have to be a thing it, to, it, like, is it is down. dizzy. It is dizzy. It is I'm Dizzy, the one who's been bullying Gippy the most, so, you know. No, 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 oh, no. shit. Dizzy, Dizzy's been doing better, but I'm flaky. Thanks. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna use my Gidget Gadget, and unless one of you says something, I'm gonna, I'm, this place is cool. I'm gonna just Gidget you Gadget. You notice us all running out the door as a group. Okay, I'll say here. Presumably like, right, that might be your cue to follow, but that's on you. That's your decision to make. Oh my god, Gibby. You guys got it. I have a clockwork device I need to figure out. Can we just like retroactively say Kagrath just like drags Gibby? No. Okay, that, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Let, that it, let him be, it's fine. Yeah. Kagrath! Can't, right, so Kag can't force shit like that. So, uh. if he wants to stay and play with the bug, that's fine. That's his choice. Uh. So. Not the bug, the clockwork thing. Oh, the clockwork? The okay. Yeah. Um, that would actually work out really good. All right. Anyways, um, <laughs> you guys are all sitting around the the area here, um, and as you walk in, there it's deserted. Nobody's in there. Figured as much. Yeah. They uh, they cleared out fast. In the amount of time it took you to go there and find your friends, they cleared out. Uh, but can we? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? I was going to say, like, can we look for any traces that they left behind? Yeah, or absolutely. is uh, there anything that would indicate where they went? I would say this is going to be more like a survival check, just for, like, tracking and figuring things out. Of course it is, because I already rolled a 23. Oh, Thanks. God. Wait for me God. to say what the roll's going to be, Alex. Woohoo! 11. Yeah. Waiting is for people who are patient. Four. Yeah, well, patience is a virtue. Who said I was virtuous? <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, that I'm sorry you're wrong must be a scary new feeling for you. Nope, never. Never wrong. <coughs> um, okay. So, searching this area, which you guys do come across, Dizzy, go ahead and make an investigation check, too, because I'm pretty sure you're going to be looking for, like, more of your stuff and whatnot. Cool. Thank God! Oh, cool. Yeah. 20. So, in the room where you kind of found the dude, um... That had that had your sword and like your bag and stuff. Um, your sword is kind of stuck into the wood, and there's a note on it, um, and your bag is kind of hanging on the on the sword. In this so the here. lash, the lash is there. Yeah, the lash, and then the bag okay. is hanging on the lash. Is the quiver there do you too? Tell us you have your stuff, or do we keep searching frantically? Will you tell no one? Um, you just wait your ass freaking turn because I'm all the way over here and you're all the way over there. <laughs> um, no, the quiver's not there. Oh, crap. Uh, Alright, so... they thought the bag and the lash were not magical as such. Gotcha. But the quiver is very easily found out to be magical because you can store all kinds of shit in it. So, yeah. Um... Mm. Yeah. So, well, there's a note on it. Looks like I'll be tracking their ass down. 
All right, so I take the bag, put the bag back on, and I take the sword and sheath it and read the note. Okay, so the note um, basically says, um, and you can kind of hear the voice of like the person that wrote it in your head, and it says, we'll be back. And that's it? That's it. Hmm. Maybe the next time it'll be a fair fight. <laughs> Why would that be the case? Because I'm fucking armed now. Mm -hmm. You were armed last time, and you got fucked up. Yeah, so. right. But I'm handicapped because I have a freaking 10 strength. Well, there you go. <laughs> right. Um, no, it was a fair fight Like when you were dealing with the kids and stuff. You didn't know oh. what was going on. You could have perception your way out of that. Sure. No, I failed that roll because yeah, fucking didn't. dice suck. Yeah, anyway. <coughs> All right, so... Uh, as you guys are looking around, uh, most of the goods that are in here are kind of um, over their due date, as, as much as you can uh, ascertain from it. They basically, if they're grains, they're moldy, if they're, you know, uh, farm supplies or anything like that, it's just, it seems like this warehouse is more of a front than anything else, um, and the boxes and the goods and stuff that are in here aren't really worth any value. Um, but let me get everybody to roll an investigation check just to see if you guys find anything good. So what was the result, what was the result Yay, of the survival three. check? Uh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, none, none oh, of you got high enough shit. on that one. Well, wait, I crit, I'm sorry, Zach I crit, and then I roll a 7. No, he has disadvantage. No, no, uh, Zach rolled a 20 on the survival check. Yeah, also, but he has disadvantage. disadvantage. Oh. He has disadvantage, so it's 11. Yeah, because you nerfed me, Brian. Don't you remember that? I remember you. Do you remember a on a D one hundred? I remember that. Yeah, that was a, that was awesome. I it was it was too cool for me to use the inspiration on that. I was too excited to roll a one on a D one hundred. That was just amazing. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> there you go. That, that well, look, so... look at here. We both crit and we both take freaking disadvantage. Yep. That's sad. Well, it's all good. Yeah. Well, what a, you wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Not without uh, advantage. Alex, as you're searching around for stuff, um, you do find a barrel of gunpowder that's still good. Who finds it? You. You. I'm, I'm just gonna... Is, is it a literal barrel, or is it more like a tiny barrel? Um, it's, I know it's, it's like one of those, stuff. like, hoghead barrels. Well, I'm taking it. That's fine. I'm taking it with me, it's fine now. Yeah. Just gonna heft it up onto my shoulders and go from there. <laughs> but other than that, basically everything's destroyed. Nothing's looking good. Um, Aw, man, I rolled the same thing as Alex, and he doesn't. And I still oh, don't get. In. You did. My bad. Um, yeah, even with a disadvantage. <laughs> right, Called bullshit. <laughs> I just, just want to cry a little bit. Can't I cry a little bit? <laughs> All right. <That's laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, as you're looking around, Brash, you do find. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, kind of propped up in the corner. Um, it's a large ball with spikes on it and a large hat. Um, and being a paladin and knowing what you do about martial weapons, it's a morning star. All right. Just standard morning star, right? Mm -hmm. You will. Well, you just a uh, standard morning. I mean, whatever. Yeah. It, nothing too special about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, what? What do you want me to do? No, what dude. Do that's fine. What that's another. Want? 10 gold or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can have it made special into something. I don't know. I, I rolled that shit random, okay? So. Nah, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving me my due. God damn. <laughs> I. I. Sorry. I'm glad I got it. So. Um, Dizzy comes back out and he's got his stuff. Dizzy, one thing you don't find is your boot. It seems. Okay. <laughs> in a. Uh, 
<laughs> In a vengeful mood, somebody took their your boot with them. Or threw it away or did something with it. Um, it's just not here. Alrighty then. So. But, you know, that's not as hard to replace as some other things. So. Sure. I and still you, have my toes. Well, and you do have those slippers still, too. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I can't. But they're. I, I can't attune them, so. Oh, well. Yep. But you can wear uh, them. Now. I could <laughs> wear them. So. Yeah, I guess now you're I'll do that. No, I'll take the, the, put the slippers on. Okay. And, All right, uh, Pat Even just putting them on, walking with them, feels like walking in a movie theater where it's all sticky. Okay. You know what I mean? So like, That kind of movie theater, <laughs> huh? Yeah, you lift up and it's all... Cat <laughs> so. Grass says, um, this one's slightly disappointed. This one wanted to smash some skulls. So yeah, it's like a mouthful. If you think you're disappointed, I only have Anyways. some of my stuff. Anyways, this one says that we should go to the magistrate's office. Oh, what for? Honestly, what for? To tell Grouchy Face that what about what happened? That woman is not okay. You know what? I thought she was hot before, but I'm thoroughly convinced that she doesn't give two shits about anything except for what's on that board, and she's not going to care. She's not going to care. About last night? No, she probably won't care about that either. She told us to do. I was like, this one doesn't understand you all. She told asked us to do it, so we tell her what happened. You, you know what? That's she fine. would also probably care about the imminent doom that's facing her city, but which I think mm -hmm. we leave yes, out that unless we want to start a, inside a panic in a witch hunt. That ain't usually something you want in a major city. Hey guys, two seconds. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but feel free to keep talking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one thinks I, that she can handle it. I really don't think. Plus, she, maybe. She, plus, we could get help. I. I know. don't. Think this is something we go to the with. I've lost faith in this city. Total, complete, and utter faith. There's nothing here. It's desolate. It's dark. It's dank. Something has taken over. Nobody gives a shit. By the way, this is where, like, Kagrath is next to you. And she's just looking down on you. And she's within headbutting range. <laughs> Go ahead. My day has been craptastic. You won't add any more yeah, to okay. what has already happened. Yep. Hmm. Well, Brian's not here, so I can't do anything. Just right, now. right, 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 right. But yeah, yeah. Just, just <laughs> saying. You're, t you're, you're yeah? telling. You're telling someone who's a local that their town is shit, and like, <laughs> just gonna hey. say, you might have deserved getting uh, getting getting mugged there. <laughs> <sighs> on a couple occasions, man. Well, it is what it is. Yep. I just can't remember which questions you asked, except for that one at the inn, which you were there, like, genuinely, they must have sprinted to catch you or something. I didn't ask any questions. He was asking me. <clears throat> yeah, the only one thing I was like, who do you work for? That's it. Yeah, but he was all, you've been asking questions in my town, what the fuck? Oh, but you've, right. as far as I know, that's the only thing you've asked, and I've been trying to think of anything else. He's asked about the kids. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh yeah, so, um, update. Kagrath was fucking staring down Dizzy, because Dizzy trash-talked, trash-talked this town in front of her. And she is staring him down. She's like, you want to say that again? Intimidation. For this... Yeah. Roll it. And uh, we'll say... Oh, damn. Yeah, we'll say contest it against Dizzy's wisdom. Straight wisdom. Wisdom oh, check fuck. or wisdom save? Fuck. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Check, check, check or save. Is that a check? 
No, I rolled a four because I got I got advantage ability scores are not four. Disadvantage on attack uh. rolls and say oh saving throw. Okay, you never mind. It is a three. Excuse me. Is it an ability check or a saving throw? You still failed. So, uh, <laughs> Dizzy, you kind of concede the point. Put up your hands because she's she is very large. Um, sure. So you just whatever. It's not worth fighting over. Um, but um, did you guys decide where to go from here or anything? Kagra's kind of adamant about. Kagra's definitely like adamant about like getting like telling like the te like telling the, the magistrate's office about like the imminent doom that's okay. gonna befall that's gonna befall the land because probably not that's a bad the idea. Because that's the yeah. See guys, see guys. <laughs> Yeah, dude, let's incite mass panic. There's no way what? that could go We're telling the government yeah, officials. Right? It's not like we're telling we're telling the person in charge. <laughs> we're, telling the government. we're doing what could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're tell we're the people in tinfoil hats telling them, by the way, we met this thing that said the city is doomed. I've never That's wanted to be a tinfoil was... hat guy. Enjoy we were literally that. sent there to see what happened there, and we're telling them what happened there. Yeah, we tell them what happened to the farm, but we don't go, oh, by the way, the city's next, we bought you guys a week, have fun sorting everything out. Here's the way I see it. One is the ignorance is bliss way, where you don't tell anybody mm -hmm. anything. But two, if you guys fail in whatever you're supposed to be doing, and you don't complete it in a week, you have to get everybody out of the town, because after that week's up, presumably everybody's going to be start getting killed. Yeah, and then people will be bitching at us for not telling anyone. Or, well, how are they gonna know? How are yeah, they gonna know we too. know? That's true too. That's true so, too. They won't know that it was you. <laughs> you think it's the other like, gonna go charge again and be like, out. ah, Kagrath didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your champions have failed, and their names are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read these. <laughs> so, um, but whatever we do, um, Gibby, what are you doing? I'm going to start sciencing the shit out of my clockwork device. Okay, what do you want to do with it? Oh, what? Does it look exactly as the picture? Yes. Because I like, like that picture. Okay. So, like, does it fit over my hand, my head? Like, where... Um, fiddling with it a little bit, you figure out that you can get it to fit kind of um, over your head, and when you do, um, there's like this little click, and like these lenses come out from the um, <laughs> from the clock, and it kind of swings around, um, and you can see through like the lenses on one eye, but the other eye is covered up by the clock itself. Um. Okay. Are there, like, any dials or anything anywhere on it? Just the clock. Just the clock? Mm -hmm. Like, there's no nubs, there's no anything? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Where? Where on the thing are the nubs and the dials? <laughs> on the clock? Oh, no, no. No, kind of, what I mean kind of is, like, it's just kind of like a clock device. You can, you can touch the hands of the clock and stuff, but there's nothing else that really changes it. <laughs> okay. Can I rewind the clock hand arms? Uh, yeah. You can push them back. Can I Which push them back? Which one do the minute or the hour hand? Let's do the hour hand, and I'm gonna just start slowly twirling it backwards. Okay. So as you're pushing it backwards, um, how far back do you want to push it? Let's do 24 hours. Alright. Um, so you push the clock hand back, um, and you, you feel it, you can feel it where you're at. You kind of go one revolution, two revolutions, which is 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you do, the thing starts to click. Click, 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 click. And um, the lenses kind of shift and change as it does. Um, and around you, you see the tavern like moving and, and like different swirling like shapes come out of like um, the form itself. Um, and you can see that there's people moving through and laughing and having a good time. And then you see like the cute girl comes out and she's serving people meals and stuff. Then she walks back through and doing all this stuff. Um, and you kind of take the thing off your head and there's nobody in the place. You put the thing back on 
and there's all there's like all this activity and stuff going on. So yesterday seemed to have been busy. <gasps> so it lets me see into the past. Oh my god! This is great. What happens if I push the hands forward? Um, as you're pushing the hands forward, they kind of stop at the spot where you're at right now. So I can't, I can't see into the future, only the past. Okay. <laughs> well, that makes oh. perfect sense. <laughs> I want to see what happens in six hours. All right. Okay. I'll take it off then. I'll put okay. it in my bag. Um. Uh, do you guys want to pick up Gippy on the way to the magistrate? Let's say. Are we still going to the magistrate? Yeah. <coughs> or are oh. we not going to the magistrate? Kagrath is gonna. Kagrath is kind of like. I mean, this is her town, so she's going to... She's going to regardless of anybody else does. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, unless, no, anyone, unless like, people, like, have a good reason... Like, a good reason not to. Besides... I already pointed out by mass panic, but if that doesn't swear, I don't technically have anything else. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not going because, in my mind, we're still working on the situation. And we're not at a point where we have to start evacuating or telling anyone. Like, three days down the road, four days down the road, it's a different situation to reevaluate. But in Grash's mind, it's like, I would rather spend some time trying to figure some shit out instead of wasting two hours walking to the magistrate's office and having... Hey, a man. Conversation. Hey, man. Maybe we could get the badass, like, what, what's, his, what's his name? Um... The Kerator, the captain of the Marister Guard, maybe he can help. He looks cool. <laughs> Alex, because of you, I anytime I think of us going to the magistrate, I always picture us with tinfoil hats on now. <laughs> I'm glad I can help. The end is coming! The yeah. end is dying! <laughs> we are all doomed! Alright. Um, so, Kagrath, are you going to go to the magistrate even if they don't? Yeah. Okay. Um... Mm. <laughs> so, in the meantime, Flan, Grash, Dizzy, where are you guys going? I think I'm going to see if Dizzy has any ideas about where they could have gone or what they <clears throat> could have wanted. Okay. I have no clue. Genuinely nothing? Did they? Were there any indications? Were there? I hear a lot about red hoods. Do you know where they picked you up? Could we check there for clues? Um, real quick, so dizzy. Yeah. You, rolled, you, you said you had no clue what they were trying to get, what information they wanted from you. Right. As in, you're trying to deceive them, or uh, no, not necessarily. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> Listen, you just gotta be straight with me, man. I'm just wondering if you need to make a roll or not, okay? So, are you saying you don't... Are you sell, telling... They're basically saying, did they ask you any questions? And you're going, no, right? No, he said, do you, do you, do you know what they wanted or whatever? And he's they saying, no. For. They want to know a lot of stuff. They asked you a right. bunch of different questions, didn't they? They, should, they did, but he didn't ask me if they'd ask me questions. He asked you... No, I did not. Make a deception roll. <laughs> so that's right. against insight, right? Yeah, against insight for that one for sure. Mm, nope. Right. You believe him? All right. Did do you? This ain't my forte. Do you think there's anything else we could do to try and help the situation? Brian, did I see red hoods? No. I didn't think so. <clears throat> uh, what you do remember from the interrogation mm -hmm. is that he did say that you were asking questions about his gang. Yeah. So. You know, I have a feeling that the Red Hood gang was behind this. Well, while big old. Well, while Big Ol' goes to the Magistrate, we could try and do something about that then. Wasn't there some sort of ridiculous reward for finding the Red Hood gang? Yeah. Five grand. Five thousand. Well, I will say this, too. <laughs> Just to 
just because I throw these things at you guys, and you guys seem to get sidetracked thinking this is really important. Um, you have a ticking timer on the city getting destroyed. Sure. Yeah. That might be your main concern right now. Three yeah. birds, one stone. Bird dexterity. No. So. You don't know how dexterous Raptoran are. Go for it. Make a dex save. Do it now. I'm not a Raptoran. <laughs> so, what do you guys. I'm just putting that out there as a thought. Because tomorrow you got your fight. Well, tomorrow the big dragony dude and I are going to be busy. We have people to apparently punch to death, but then I guess we have six days to do whatever the dark thingy, I don't even know. There was, I mean, there's like a lot of things that theoretically we like could do. Days. So it's probably going to be like the day before seven days from now. They're counting today as a day. <laughs> um... Technically, they're counting yesterday as a day. Those spay folk. <laughs> Grash, Gippy, Dizzy, anyone want to chime in with what we're going to do, or are we just going to leave it with me trying to figure out what we're going to do? So when I, I can decide for totally, us, that's fine, but... I have to go and visit my, that little dwarf cleric dude. Because I am hurting from last night, and I want to see if a doctor can tell me why. You mean the druid? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the one who, you know... <laughs> hey, hey, Gippy, are you there with us? No, so I can't ask you about it. Okay? Have you been <laughs> no, with me at all this morning? So I can't ask you about it, can I? I'm just at the bar. Don't be so goddamn oh. butthurt. Oh. But the menu oh. laughed at me with the fucking kid's menu joke. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fucking funny. It was pretty funny. I don't have any kids menus. That was right. one of the best lines Brian has said this entire time. <laughs> I am not going to lie. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad all my work and effort came down to a simple improv joke. Thank you, sir. I Dude, it was awesome. Sometimes that's how it goes. God damn it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, you can go and talk to the dwarf if you want. Might be yeah, but I'm you. going by myself, <laughs> so I'm, like, waiting for you all to say where you're going, and then I'm going to be like, alright, well, I got stuff to do. <laughs> That's why by I'm the way, not guys, safe. probably not a good idea to leave Dizzy by himself. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know. Why can Dizzy get abducted? <laughs> <laughs> good, they can bring it. I'm blue as fuck. I will destroy them with my blue power. Blue as fuck. I'm blue, abba No, so, yes. you don't. No, no, Too late. don't it's do happened. that shit. Too late. You so, suck. No take back. Where are we? Are we just standing outside of the sketchy warehouse yeah. discussing yeah. our plans for the day? Yeah, exactly. Like, Kagrath is on his way to the, or is on her way to the uh, magistrate's office. But you guys are just kind of standing there. That's why I'm asking yeah, what no. you want to do. Decisive, <laughs> like, guys. Come on now. Just... Then yeah, we, we should, uh, at the very least, if we don't think we can do anything else here, we should get out of this district, probably go back and get the short one, and then work out what we want to do for the day. Okay, so you guys are going to go back to the inn? I Rash is gonna am go going to the dwarf. dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever so we'll you want that. that to actually happen, but... Um, so Grash, we'll do, we'll do Kagrath first, and then we'll do Grash, and then we'll do you guys at the end. All right. Um, <coughs> so, Kagarath, you get there, and you walk mm -hmm. in, um, and Ariel sees you, and she says, "She says, oh, good, Kagarath. Uh, nobody's said anything about your arena poster. I'm sorry." Kagarath gives like a small pout, but then remembers why she's here. Uh, <laughs> what's the? What's this? What's the? Um, is it like really crowded in here, like the previous nope. days? Or is it okay? No, just her. Just her? Okay. So Kagrath's like, we went to the far. We went. To, it was like, we went to the farms last night. Um, she stops and thinks for a second. She says, "Oh, oh, Mason Farm. Got it. Uh, Complete. And completely destroyed. Uh, completely destroyed. There's a 
what should I call it? What was it called? There was a five-headed plant dragon there. She looks like she says. Apparently, apparently, She's like, there was one, a one revelation at a time, please. Uh, Mason Farms is completely destroyed. Yes. Like, okay. And um. A there's what? a queen of. What? There is a five. There is a five-headed plant dragon, who is called the Autumn Knight, and who serves the Autumn Queen in the forests. And they're going to destroy Marister in a week. <laughs> the look on her face is like when during Ghostbusters when they're telling the mayor about all the shit that's happening. Basically that. So she's, mm -hmm. <laughs> she looks at you and she says. Hang on, let me see if I have this straight. Somebody's going to destroy the city, they said. Yes, forest. Okay. She takes a deep breath. She kind of puts her head, head in her hands on her desk. She kind of puts her, rolls her, her fingers through her hair. And she looks up and she says, what is going on in this place? Um, and she looks <clears> at you and she says, so, so what? What did they want? What's the what's what? What's going on? Tagrath kind of looks like looks at her and like decides to try like just to try shit out. It's like we have to purge the dark uh, the darkness in this town. <laughs> she had this look on her face and she's, what the hell does that mean? We have to find a dark heart and she. Kagrath kind of has, like, the this, like, tone of, like, kind of like, it's kind of like, wait, it's first like, first off, where's everybody else? Are they dead? Did you fight this thing and they died or, or what? what? No, they're still alive. They're still alive. They just thought it wasn't important to, t uh, to tell you. And she kind of gets this, <laughs> wait, but, <laughs> She's I thought like, it was important, maybe, though. Maybe it's best that you just don't. Just take care of things. So, what happens if you don't do this stuff? The I don't fucking fi squirrels are going to come out of the forest and destroy the city? Is that what you're telling me? No, most likely the five-headed plant dragon. Well, she takes a deep breath and she says, And you said, who? who autumn Knight and Autumn what? The Autumn Knight and the Autumn Queen. Oh my god. She just kind of looks over and she says, this city used to be so nice. What what's going on? And she kind of gives you this look, and you can see that there's actually like tears welling up in her eyes. Um, like just she's overwhelmed with whatever the fuck is going on with her life. Um, so and, Kagrath, uh, go for it. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Kagrath is kind of like she she's like. Well, I told you because I thought you it was like I thought you could help uh, you could help uh, that you could help us uh, get some help with this. Cause I was like, I don't think it's like I I don't think a very complicated plans, but you might. Uh, but I figured that uh, you might know someone who might help who could help us. Um, she looks and she says, I don't know. I can. I can set a couple soldiers on ta I, or uh, guardsmen on task, and I can talk to the captain of the guard, but I don't know how much of this he's going to believe or, or, or anything. He's kind of a he's kind of a braggart, so I, I'd be more likely to suspect that he would try and protect the city and lose every man doing it than anything else. So hmm. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. What about that man that the uh, that my comrades brought in the other day. And Is he still here? She looks at you and she goes, Shh. "We're not talking about that." And no, he's not. Hmm. So she says, "Cause I th and she cause this one at the board again." And she says, "If it's dark shit you're looking for, there's a bunch of terrible things that have been happening lately." Mm -hmm. But I don't know what 
what to do about it. Mm -hmm. This one thinks that something dark is happening. This some this one does think that something bad is happening in the town, and this one does want to protect her home. Well, there's definitely been there's definitely been some sort of event or something that's caused this because one day everything was fine and the next day everything's crazy and it's been crazy this one this one heard it was like this one heard from her companion saying that it might be the carnival all of this started because they said that the, all of this started after the carnival and it after the carnival left town uh, out of hand she just kind of like brushes it off and says that's ridiculous yes but the situation is ridiculous too well, even if that is true, what are we going to do about it? We don't know anything about them, where they went. All we know is where they were. No one knows where. Th is like no one knows what happened to them. Well, they're a traveling carnival. Presumably, they packed up and they left. Hmm. So. So do you? Know yeah. Oh wait. Um. So she says. She says. All I can tell you is the, the worst stuff that comes in here that the guards can't deal with goes on the court. So, mm -hmm. and that's why there's rewards that are usually offered and such. So, okay. if, if it's bad shit you're looking for, that's probably the best place to look. But other okay. that, and the carnival and all this that you're talking about, I don't know anything. Okay. And, but don't worry. And she said, and she says, and keep this whole autumn night, autumn queen thing between us. When mm. when is this supposed to happen? What's supposed to, when? What time frame? A week. No, oh, she her eyes go wide. She says a week. She's she's looks like she's thinking. She looks down. Well, I'll tell you this: in five days, we're going to start evacuating the city. Hmm. Just in sounds case. good. Or maybe not. The captain of the guard even allows that. She looks like she's calculating stuff in her head. She says, oh, the money. Oh my God. She's just thinking about all kinds of stuff. She says, look, oh. go, go. Go work on this as soon oh, as apparently, you can. Well, we need to go. go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then, and then um, this is when uh, she, Kai Breath remembers something. She's like, oh, apparently Wiltorn's next after after Marister. <laughs> she, says, and she, she says, well, Honestly, I'm not even worried that worried about wolves points. So they they can protect themselves. So, and she says they've they've got more weaponry up there than uh, than they would ever need. But it won't be okay. To, but even if we asked for aid, it wouldn't get here more in like it's a week's ride there and a week's ride back. The town would be mm -hmm. already done. Okay. So Kagras is gonna look at the board and she's gonna see what what's up there. Okay. Uh, I'll just put them all into your journal, and then okay. you can read through them. Uh, all right. But the actually what's on the board is on the board, but I'll put the, the notes okay. on the thing. Uh, all right. And then who's doing what now? Grash is going to the dwarf, right? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Now just because I looked at the time, the timer says we're at the three-hour mark. Is does everyone want to keep going or no? I probably need to duck out. Yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah, like I'm, I'm feeling really tired today. Okay. Um, so I'll put the things in your thing, Sam. You're good to duck out if you want. Same to you. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll just say you and uh, Alex actually just go back to the place. Grash, if you want to do your guy real quick, you can do that. We'll call it a night. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll see y'all later. Up, guys. All right. Later, good dude. night, guys. Good night. And then there were three. <laughs> and then there were three. Indeed. Sorry, I'm putting his stuff in the journal. I did. Un momento, por favor. <laughs> Two people know about this one. They haven't done shit. It's funny to me. Okay. And then just in general, missing posters. Actually, no. That one is with him, so you can't see that. Alright. 
So, um, Grash, you walk up to the um, <laughs> druid, kind of like a pot carry kind of a deal. Um, the whole way, like your scales are itching, you're itching at itch itch different rashes and stuff that have popped up, um, and you're just kind of growling to yourself. Um, it's very uncomfortable, um, especially for you. Naturally. Because, yeah, especially for you because you're used to your skin being so tough, and then, like these bites or whatever they are, like in between like your scales. Um, or this rashes. Um, so it, as you get there, um, the dwarf is actually out on this, like, this little porch stoop area that he has out in front of his place. Um, yeah. And uh, he sees you walk up and he looks at you and he says, Oh, back for more, eh? I, uh, I was actually hoping we could talk inside, if you don't mind. Um, and he says, Oh, been to the lantern house again, and he kind of like gives you a wink and like a nudge from a distance, and he says, "All right." He's leaning in his chair and like back, <laughs> and he like lifts, put like has to put some momentum on it to like roll himself out of the chair, and he gets up, ah, and he walks inside. Um, he says, "Go ahead and close the door," um, and uh, he looks at you and says, "So what? Uh, what seems to be troubling you?" I am going to take off my armor and show him the bumps. Oh dear. Well, um, uh, hmm. I don't suppose you were upstairs in the lantern house, were you? No, not this time. Or else I wouldn't have needed to come to you for an answer. All right, we just need to rule out the flaking buboes. Is all. So. Those can be nasty, let me tell you. Uh, oh, my. And he's looking, he's kind of looking at the stuff that you have going on there, and he says, uh, What about, uh, what about in your normal uh, business areas? Do you have any swelling warts? Do I? <laughs> No. I don't, I don't, okay, not to my knowledge, oh, no. okay, uh, and he's going through some different things, and he's checking off and says, what about, um, hmm, all right, all right, and he's looking and he says, and he goes in the back and he pulls out this little jar and puts a little bit of stuff in there and he says, it, just like a little bit, and he says, go ahead and rub this on some of your, your arm there. And, and then, I will. Yeah. So you do it, instant relief. It's like rubbing like calamine lotion on like poison ivy or something, <laughs> and you actually kind of let out a little bit of sigh. You're like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And he's like, ah, that's what I thought. Um, where did you stay last night? At the insert name of in here. Okay. Can't remember what it was. Shit, I would have to look. You know, Zach, I put a lot of work in this game. Okay. Yeah, dude, and, I know. And you guys don't even write it down. It's a sweeping wolf in, okay? Sweeping wolf in. Got it. Sleeping wolf. <laughs> sleeping wolf. Not you know what? Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought that was a silly name, and I was like, ah, stupid RPG name. <laughs> the sweeping wolf in. Put so, a verb, put it down, and put the in. <laughs> it's, quick, we're done. Quick movie plug. Um, from Redbox, there's a movie called uh, The Bone Tomahawk. It's got Kurt Russell in it. Um, nice. It's like a western kind of a thing, and it's about these savage, savage cannibal guys coming in and killing people and stealing them away and stuff. And the the uh, tavern in that one is called the Learned Goat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so definitely using that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and it's got probably one of like the most brutal death scenes I've ever seen in my life. It's really good. Nice. But, you know, and Kurt Russell. Who the fuck doesn't like Kurt Russell? I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. <laughs> exactly. So, anyways. Uh, right. So, he was making note and he says, Well, if you want to do them a favor, go back there and tell them to burn that mattress. And, uh, he's, he fills up a little, kind of like a vial, full of, like, this powdery, liquidy kind of stuff. Um, slides it across the table latch and he says, uh, that'll be, uh, five silver for that. 
I'm uh, hand him a gold. Okay. He says, and uh, he says, don't worry, it's not contagious or anything. It should only last about a day. But in less, if you use that, and he points at what he's giving you, and he says, uh, just a, a bit of bed bugs, I'm afraid. So. All right. I appreciate your help as always, sir. He says, well, oh, feel free to stop by again. Uh, always have. Uh, Always look forward to a friendly face. And he says, And, uh, let me know if you visit the, uh, lantern house again. Especially the upstairs. Probably catch something there, too. <laughs> Fair enough, say. Okay. And then he kind of says, And he kind of walks you out, puts his hand on your, on like, uh, your mid-back, uh, opens the door, kind of pushes you out, and he goes and sits in the lights up his pipe again. Uh, right before he pushes me out, I'm gonna turn to him and be like, Do you frequent the arena? He looks and he says, Oh, well, I've placed a bet now and then, but, uh, never fight. I, it's not really my, uh, my affair. Fair enough. Just wanted to let you know, you got an easy bet on me tomorrow night. Oh, when he looks and he says, Why don't you take a round, eh? You know who you're fighting? I don't yet, but I have some... I have a good notion that I'll be winning. He looks and he says, Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and he says, Well, don't you worry. Uh, I'll try and stop by and at the very least place a bet through someone. So, I appreciate the tip. And if I lose, drinks are on me that night. He looks at you and he says, well, can't get a better deal than that, can you? <laughs> no, sir. And I'm going to walk off with that. Okay. But yeah, I like the it. dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a friend. Yeah, he's a friendly face, for sure. Uh, true. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, I'm just going to say that probably everybody meets up back at the tavern where Gibby's at been. With yeah, and let's just assume I'll tell the bartender or whatever, like, hey, like, show him my arm and be like, you fucked me. <laughs> Should get rid of that bed. <laughs> yeah. He might like, <laughs> take I mean, a little, slight, sir. A little more tactful than that, but yeah. you, I hopefully I conveyed the meaning of what my words would be in character. <laughs> it's all right. All right, cool. Well, uh... That'll be it for tonight, then. Uh, Dude, another game with zero encounters. <laughs> hey. And the stumble was entirely my fault. <laughs> There's two ways that could have gone. You could have totally just taken out your fucking longsword and gone to town on that autumn night. But you took, you took a higher path, John. <laughs>